Go. Welcome to the Java Tears podcast. WrestleMania Hangover Week, episode 14. Episode 14, the Gerald Green episode. Mr. took a year off from basketball, came back, dunking on dudes, teabagging them, three point out of nowhere. Who's Steph Curry to Gerald Green, baby? Shout out to you. Boss. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm Evie filling in for Janelle from HR, who is making her way back from NOLA. Hustling, called Cassidy of the wrestling world. I yeah. see you out there, boo. While she's hustling, making her way back, I have with me Alex from Eye, Eye Chokes. Eye Pokes, Eye Pokes and Head Chokes. AKA the Goya and Grits podcast. <laughs> <laughs> also with me, I have Sir Wilkins and Mr. Black. AKA. AKA what? AKA what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's it? You just stopped It's a there? freestyle one. AKA stop. You're done. You're done. No, no, I got it. I got no, it. The moment's yeah. over. The moment's over. He fucked up the promo. He fucked it up. He fucked it up. All right, all right. So let's jump into it. The oh my god moment of the week. Brock wanted smoke with Vince. First reported by at Russell Volts, the Twitter account, there was a verbal altercation between Lesnar and Vince McMahon backstage after the match. Lesnar was upset. Although we still don't know what it, don't know why exactly what happened. Lesnar reported uh, it was reported that Lesnar just went off on Vince. Basically, point blank, Lesnar probably didn't like the way the match went. He doesn't like how things are going, and he's crying like a big baby when he supposedly is supposed to go back to UFC. So, what's your take on that? Mm. Who wants to take that? Topic? I'll take it first. First of all, this is semi-work. I believe anything that's put out there now is strictly Vince in the making, you know, Probably 40 will. laws of power, um, get the sheep going. And we all fucking sheeps to Vince. You know why it's kind of a work? Um, based on what happened with Conor McGregor and the UFC, you need to create some more smoke and mirrors and shit. Yeah. Because, like, the whole UFC thing felt a little WWE-ish to me, and maybe kind of just took it too far, so maybe this is kind of like somewhere in between that same type of thing. When you throw the universal title belt either at the wall next to Vince or at Vince and you miss, like, it makes it seem like this is, it, it has to be this some is type of work. work, 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 work. Because... Like Rihanna? Yes, <laughs> like Rihanna. What's the sticking in there? We are in the reality era. Yeah, that's what yeah. the place says all the time. Right. And they got made this shit look real. Why was Brock mad? Why is he mad? But then he resigns a contract extension the next day. Supposedly, it was just a one match extension, though. I don't Supposedly. I don't give for a the fuck. one out. I've been saying this for years. With Brock and WWE, they make more money. Dana White and Vince McMahon are having cocktails every weekend, yeah. talking shit together, sure. and figuring out how to work together. I mean, he was there. He was at the match. Yeah. There's four chicks, former UFC fighters, yep. on the roster. Yep. Sure. In developmental, in NXT, and on the main uh, roster. Main. Yep. Okay. And then, and then you have Brock Lesnar. This is all fucking work. Connor is the next person to be WWE. I guarantee you. I mean, for sure. In a year and a half. I mean, I mean the way that you... I say two. Two years. Probably yeah. two years. But two the years. way that how you describe it, how that whole UFC thing happened, when I first watched it, I was like, okay, this could be real, whatever, whatever. whatever. But since you, since, since I saw Dana White at the pay per view, that's, that's what makes. So it I was so just like, maybe this is somewhat of a work. And Conor McGregor took it took it too far, far. yeah, that's because what it he was. had a little too much in the system. But like I said in previous podcasts, you know, Negro Diamonds predicted this. See, I see the future like Cleo. Didn't I say this? Rock was going to win the Universal Title, bring it to UFC for a cross promotion. See, all that is just like. Y'all look too much in the real world. I look at Nico Thomas. I see the stars from miles away. The universe. Well, I said that. I've been saying that. Oh, you did it. Yes, I did. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, he no. has. Yes, I have. He I put it on Facebook. He, he kind of Facebook, did. Twitter, and yeah. Instagram. Yes, I put it on there. Doesn't matter. Nico Thomas. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. 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 Motherfucker, I, I'm woke as fuck now. No, no, no. no. I, I, I as lately, I as lately, your third, I've been like this. Like, been no, because he doesn't need to. Because he needs to open all the time. Yo, how you went to nine thousand? You like, I won right now. I don't need to be at nine thousand every time. 
All I'm saying is you must slack on your Mac and dolls. No, no, works. no. Listen, this is all work. It is work, but my but like my thing is this. What's gonna happen from there? Like, what kind of story will come out of this? Because we do forget Bobby Lashley's in WWE. And there's rumor has it like they try to make an angle with him and Bobby Lashley go against each other at SummerSlam. Who, Brock? Yeah. That's yeah. some kind of rule. So, like, so you don't think that he's gonna have a UFC match and Bobby Lashley be in the crowd? You do forget that Bobby Lashley is also currently um, is currently not in UFC, but Isn't he Bellator? He Bellator. Bellator. Yeah. So he does he, um, makes martial arts. So Let's, it could be a cross I mean, motion. This is the thing. Motion. Before Brock Lesnar, when he came back the last time, before mm-hmm. this time, he had a deal with the UFC at the same time. He fought. He took time off to go fight in the UFC at the same time. Yeah, I remember. That I remember. I remember. That after he got so dumped up. So that's not and out of the. He got a loophole because he was a yeah. Yeah, it's not out of the. How question. many times has Brock left and come back? Plus like, the other thing. He put Brock at the end of the day is a money maker. He, he is. A money maker. He is, and he negotiates his contracts very well. Obviously. Extreme he's the highest. Well. He's the highest paid one. Even is Roman he? Reigns no, said no, 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 he no. is the highest paid. No, one. there's somebody else above him now. Forrest put on a list. Who? In no, terms you're of right. WWE stars. He's a top. You're right. Runner. I think it's a ten. No, he's the top. It's him and Cena. Yeah, yeah him and Cena. Go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cena. But overall, though, listen, wait. I gotta agree with you. This was one hell of a work. Let's see what this could like produce. Yeah, but Shane apparently got in Brock's face too backstage. Oh, new new tale. But then again, Shane is a hothead. Shane is so a like you see, my I'm about to jump off for you. Because he's a hothead because he's part of the family. Exactly. Yeah. He's he's part part of yo, come on, he's yo, part come on, pop face though. We got smoke. That's it. No, this is storyline. Oh, like the whole dad. That's the that's all, my the dad. Only I'm going to jump into this. Remember when Roman Reigns came after it, came out the Vince in the back? Yeah, that and Shane was there. Back like the yeah, that, that kind of spoiled it a little bit. I was like, come on, Shane. It's, it, it, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Overall, though, I'm just ex- I'm more excited as the drama around Brock than actually Brock in the ring. So Brock in the like, ring is he needs to go away for a while at this yeah. point. Yeah, he's too. The scared. whole universe. He needs to start working out some legs because the whole chicken universe legs is like kind of over that. Because like honestly speaking, if it was Roman Reigns versus anybody else at WrestleMania, probably would have worked. You at WrestleMania? Yeah, I, was, I was, was there. Um, there were this is boring chance after like the 10, 10 minute mark of that match. Um, and most was people, it boring? Most Live? people. Live, it was boring. I watched it again yesterday on my day off and everything, and um, it was actually relatively good. Yeah, watching. I thought it was a good match. It was, it was a good, good match. match. It, it was, was a decent match. match. It was a good it was match. Good it, had, match. It, had, it had its spots. But when you're watching it live, you're just like... It's not a WrestleMania match. It's it's not. It's, it's not a WrestleMania match. Uh, and it shouldn't have been the, the top, the main event. The shit, I was telling him, the Shinsuke and AJ Styles should have been built better and been the main event. But it wasn't. To me, honestly speaking, like when you have the whole crowd focusing on beach balls other than the match and cheering and booing whenever like the beach balls went away and came back, that's that that's bad. Dirty Dick Lil, you have something? So Janelle from HR says Wow. Oh, he means her Hi! Wow. Wow. Janelle from HR says, hello, hi. So Janelle from HR said that it was live boring. It was boring live. And that uh, Bobby Lashley it sucks. <laughs> Unless she's here. And Beach Ball Mania lives. Where's she yeah. here? Beach Ball Mania. Where do you mean she's here? Like she's on the live. She's in the building? Yeah. No, I mean like she's. Like, like she's, she's tuning in. Live. She's tuning in. Obviously, she's tuning in. We're not here. You have a stake of claim? You're not here. You're not in. You're not recording. <laughs> I think Do you we know for HR? I bet should I be here? Okay. Okay. Yes, girl, you're here. <laughs> so anyways. Okay, okay, so there's there's a, something else that's been announced. It was announced on Twitter. Uh the it's uh basically a coffin match between Taker and Rusev. Why is why is Taker doing this? Although he retired, but you know This is boring! I mean, I mean This is boring! It this is. is boring! If this anything, is boring! If anything, it should have been a rematch for John Cena. That's no, it. I blame no, all y'all. Yeah, no, 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 no. I blame that y'all yeah, wrestling fans who love Undertaker so much. Oh, I want Taker to come back. I, I never it. said that. I I it. He was done last year to me. I know, he was yeah. done last year. That's, he was done. Now it's just like y'all, y'all, y'all saying that, but me and him, y'all, y'all all on, on yeah. Taker's dick. Yeah. Everybody's on Taker's penis. Yeah. Every 
body. So oh, take her. Oh, my God. You're experiencing take it, Richard Media. Take it up. And so happily, he squashed Cena. It was a, it hey. was a squash match. That's basically what I and I said. I said it as fucking I, squash. I said it <laughs> as squash. I said it as a squash. squash ass motherfucker. It was like a fool. I can't be that. Okay. Squash ass motherfucker. Focus. Do I think that, am I excited for this? For this match, no. no. Why are you finding Rusev in a coffin match? I feel like they're just giving Rusev his dream match. No, so, real talk, what I think it is, is they're gonna put Rusev over. Nah. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rusev threatened to leave. Mm. He wanted his release. When? Yeah. Before? No, b- before he got he got he was put into that fucking um. He was. He was that, that European title match. Yeah, it, it, it's a continental. It's, no, U.S. Yeah. Sorry. No, U.S. U.S. title match. I apologize. Is it U.S.? Yeah, U.S. It's title US, match. Yeah. European doesn't even exist anymore. My bad. No. <laughs> Oops. Um. UK title. Doesn't, he was okay. yeah. he was tossed into that match after he was like, "Yo, motherfuckers, release me." And I'm like, no, 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 who's that day is over? So we'll do something with you for WrestleMania. He should have won the fucking belt if that was the case. Now? And him and Jenna could have changed Do you understand the fucking pop that that would have generated? Yes. But WWE, Vince doesn't give a fuck. Now. But you give it to Jenna. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. The chase is beautiful. But then they fucked up on SmackDown Live by giving Randy Orton that number of attendance. Well, anyway. Yeah. Well, okay, so my thing is this. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let, let me finish. You put Rusev with Undertaker, the, le- the legend of, of the legend of fucking oh WWE, the yeah. biggest legend of WWE. Okay. Now, Taker can put Rusev over because you know why? If he loses to him, if it's not it's not a pay per view. It technically is. No, it's, it's they're not. billing it as a pay per view. It's a pay per view, but it's not a a pay per view pay per view, a main pay per view, and it's not WrestleMania. So he can take it out. But, mm. but, but what do you? But, my thing but is, you're like you have a 50 man Royal Rumble. Then you have seven titles it's a, being defended. It's a greatest it's a, Royal Rumble. It's a major pay per view yeah, for them. Yes, but nobody people can take an L because not a main pay per view. It's not storyline built into. But it's it. a 50 man a battle. A, a what other person get if they win? Championship. They just shot. win. Well, Maybe they just won. You don't know if they get a championship shot. Yeah, but it, they get put over. Somewhere or another. I'm all okay again. We all see what happened when we have these Royal Rumble battle, these special ones, and you get quote unquote put over. Naomi won two years in a row, and I didn't even know that. Two years in a row. She didn't win two years. I'm very no. sorry. It's like she, she won, won, the, she won and the on SmackDown, they didn't make a big deal out of it. They didn't. Um Mojo Raleigh won. And that, who made the big deal about it? And you water. forgot right. until they mentioned a commentary on Sunday. So why are you having these stuff? That's what I'm saying. So no. Rusev can look good by being the Undertaker. I don't see it happening. I don't see it. Nah, I don't. I don't nah, B, I'm telling no, no, no. you. Nah. We understand what you're saying. Right, yeah, I just don't see it happening. It's happen. gonna happen. Another, Third eye open. Third eye open. Another I'm six shots. Up. I'm another. charging up. I'm charging up. This okay. time, the six shots of Jameson is gonna be when you're wrong. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So. It's at 12 p.m., so I'm not drinking at 12 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, at 12 p.m. Friday. Oh, I don't know. I'm not Who the fuck is that? People got jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be at work. Nah, I'll probably be at work. I'll, I'll, work. Be, I'll, I'll be, at work. be at work for real. Okay, so the Andre the Giant documentary. Did you guys watch it? Your thoughts? Is Andre the Giant still relevant? What's your take? Who wants to take this I'll first? I'll take this one. I probably might get. I'm not. I, I didn't grow up with Andre. I didn't grow up with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw Andre get slammed by Hogan, and then I didn't see him on TV for a while. I wasn't. We 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 was watching consistently. So, am I excited to look at the documentary? Not really, because I always hear a lot of stories about him. How he was a nice guy. You know, a lot of the um, urban legends about him. How like he was able to chug so much beer and not get drunk. It's kind of like, all right, they kind of oversaturated for me, and I won't, and like, I probably won't be checking it out. And people might say, oh, you're not a true wrestling friend. I suck my dick. <laughs> Anyways, nevertheless, though. Why you always go to there, though? <laughs> he likes getting his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I'm saying is this. I'm not going to check it out. I'm, it's probably, HBO did it. It's probably well done. It was really well done. Uh, see, well done. It was really well done. But I'm not interested. What do you think about it? I liked it mainly based on the fact that, like, it paints on the history of not only um, Andre the Giant, but everything around him, like 
the beginning of the um, Hulkamaniac shit and all the other things preceding. Like his his life as like a kid growing up and dealing with the gigantism and all that stuff, and then going into wrestling. He was like six nine when he was fourteen. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Six nine when he was fourteen, learning how to wrestle and shit. And like, how do you deal with that? Like, and like his mother was, I think no, it was his um. Yeah, like his mother was concerned, like, oh, like he's never gonna stop growing. Like it's it was insane, like how quickly he grew and whatnot. But um, it was made a lot of stories, a lot of things. Like um, they had um, the hoaxer talking about him, Vince talking about him. You had um, people from the Princess Bride talking about him. Anybody that was like pretty much involved with him, they had um, even Arnold Schwarzenegger on it. He was talking about him. Like all people that got to know him really well and everything. Like that and it was with him. yeah, that worked with him. Whether it was wrestling or in the entertainment business alone, um, even they had like tales about him with Muhammad Ali talking. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really interesting and really good to see like the history behind it to be honest with you um but besides that, i can get where you're coming from because like if you didn't really grow up with him and you saw the slam but like you really didn't see him after that because it's true after that pretty much they even said in the documentary that after that slam after he put hogan over that he um it was one of those things where he he started it was he was already like pretty much bad in health at that time wow. he could barely move hogan was doing all the work and um the story of that match itself was really cool because like Hogan was worried that he wasn't going to be put over by Andre but like Andre was just fucking with him the whole time like yeah, he was, so he would go up to me he would be like he'd be like oh so what's going to happen with the match like, oh don't worry like you know just like don't worry about it it's fine and cool and like Hogan wrote out the script for the match and everything and like um, gave it to gave it to Vince and they looked it over He gave, um, and he didn't know how it was going to go but it was exactly detailed as Hogan thought the match should go out like everything that happened happened the way it was and um when there was one cool part when hogan was talking about like through, he was pretty much just recalling the match when the slam part came up once he once they got to that point he was like slam me now like and hogan was like what he was like slam me so like when he picked up and slammed him, and then he was on the floor after the slam he um yelled out you know leg drop and he was like oh shit he's putting me over and like that's why he did the leg drop and everything but like after that pretty much like you said his career was already like going downhill that's why you didn't see him because he had health issues by that time the doctors told him that he wasn't going to be able to live past 40 regardless like and a bunch of people corroborated the legends about the drinking he apparently loved like um he loved to Huh? Doseki beer? Yeah. I'm sure he loved Doseki's beers. But no, he um his favorite thing was to do was um fart jokes. Like he would fart for people and apparently his farts were legendary and shit. He would trap people and it was a really fun it not funny, but like it was a fun documentary to watch because of the so See It's it's cool this, to watch. It's, it's cool, cool to watch. All of that I heard It's not that. necessary. Yeah, yeah. If you heard a lot of this already, yeah. it's not really necessary to watch. But the way HBO puts it together, because obviously it's HBO and yeah, HBO yeah. Sports does really well with their documentary. So yeah, um yeah, it's, it's, it's actually just, really good. It's just like when it comes to like certain guys that I grew up with, you know, Bruno, you know, um, Andre, um, I and Sheik and stuff like that. People are now like, oh my gosh, did it? I'm looking like, oh, all right, I guess, you know. <gasps> you know, I get hyped for what's name? You know, I get hyped for Dilla Brown. You know, if I hear his music down the street, I'm gonna walk like him. When it comes on my playlist, I'm walking like him and dancing. But you, but the thing about it, it's the beauty of where it came from of yeah. course but that's that's what it is and like that's what the documentary Andre, is Andre the Giant is like literally like Bill Russell Will Chamberlain of wrestling yeah like the like the originator excuse me of like you know what I mean and Paul Hogan is Jerry West and besides his racist thing and no longer he's part of WWE but anyway it's a different conversation but when you look at wrestling and where wrestling is like Andre Giant is the beginning of, of everything. Vince said it himself. I don't see what you guys, like, because, how he's trying to say. Because when you think of him, he's bigger than life. Literally. Yeah, people went to just go watch him. Yeah. Like, all he's the time. literally That's bigger than life, but he's also, his, he was a character. Okay. And I get where you're coming from. You didn't grow up with him, but you got to respect it. Of course I respect it. It's kind of similar to, like, a guy could be saying this, like, you know that... I love ball. My favorite team's the Knicks. You feel me? I didn't grow up with Walt Clyde Frazier, but I see Walt Clyde. Yo, young Walt Clyde got the two rings, baby. I'm dapping him up. You know, I respect because he's a legend that was the staples of the Knicks. So I just yeah, what you're trying no, to say. Yeah, and, but it's also like, 
You gotta enjoy and watch the history. And it kind of made you think like, yo, if I die, will people say nice shit about me too? Yeah. Like, you know, like, it's like, okay, you get, you get five people to say something about you. No, seriously, seriously, think about it. Dying, right? I, I kind of I kind of went through that a little bit. But no, yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking here. about it. like you. Oh, die. oh shoot! Yeah, we all three of us have to high five for that. No, no, not not a high five. It's not a high five moment, bro. But like it's a high five because like we we survived. Yes, 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 yes. We survived. No. We survived. No, we survived. Down. We survived. That's what I'm saying. Give me five. Leo, Air Five. <laughs> you two dogs. There you go. Listen, you die and you want to make a documentary about your life, and that many people say, because there's one thing people have different opinions about you. Of course. But from what you're saying, is like, because I haven't watched it yet, it's a consistency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's that behind. Yeah. You. Yeah. you know what I mean? Him and Dusty, I always feel like they always got the similar, consistent story. Even I remember Cody mentioned it on, I think on the Sam Roberts podcast. He said that he's hearing all these outrageous stories from his dad. One of the stories was like he was in the Congo, and then I think something happened. They're they chopping the Congo, whatever, and then end up in a wrestling show for these local soldiers. Mm-hmm. And then Cody was just like, oh, I don't believe that. That's mad fake. Then one time, Cody, um, Cody and his dad was on the side and whatever, spe- um, speaking, and the guy came up. He was like, Oh. Dusty, thank you for that wrestling match on Saturday third. And Dusty was humble, was like, yo, no problem, it's that then. That's when Corey realized, oh shoot, this is a really true story. Yeah, because you have to understand at that time before people before K Fit was broken, yeah. people believed that shit. Let me ask you a question. You think that K Fabe was good for wrestling business or was it bad? Oh, it yeah. was the greatest shit good, in the world. Good. It was. Because- and that fucking documentary. Ruined everything. Oh, 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 oh. Beyond the mat? No, it wasn't beyond the mat. It was like um, behind the behind the ring or something like that. Whatever it fucking was. Beyond the mat. It was, Yo, it was it is. Beyond the mat. It Do me a favor, look it up. That documentary that was done. It had The Rock. It had Mankind on the cover. I forgot who else. That it is doc- behind the mat. Behind the mat. Double check for us. Appreciate it. No, yes. because it ruined wrestling. Yeah, it did. And it did. you have to understand. Hogan couldn't wrestle for shit. No, yeah. it was terrible. Under the Giant definitely couldn't wrestle. He just clobbered motherfuckers. How many people in the Golden Age? Did they go to the Golden Age? That um that era? It's, it, it might be because of the Golden Age. I could be wrong. Nevertheless, is look that up. Yeah, beyond called? the mat. Beyond the mat. There beyond you go. the mat. There you Fuck go. Fuck beyond the mat. Fuck everybody who was part of Beyond the Mat. Fuck them, their mother, and their ugly aunts. But you like The Rock? No, he wasn't part of that shit. You know about how that Vince didn't know that had it like it was for profit. I don't give a fuck. It was bullshit. It was a good documentary. Though. I don't give a fuck about it. About fuck them and their mother and their ugly aunt. Cause they, cause they, they and the thirteen cousins. Even though it was before the Attitude Era, kinda. Yeah. It's still like fuck shit over. But then again, though, they but the Attitude Era corrected a lot of that shit with all the fucking all the gimmicks they had. Just Steve Austin himself. Yeah, they can't give a fuck. fuck. But my thing is this: don't disrespect the business. But then again, though, w, like K Fame was little bit still alive up until when WWE made E. I mean, made E when they made Total Divas. That's where they yeah, that broke K Fame. That's completely why they I didn't like it. I didn't like Total Divas either. Boy, you, you watch it. I don't give a fuck. I love it. <laughs> but I was tight about it. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be fire. I'd be, I'd be like this. Girl. I've only watched one episode no. of but, nah, I but, 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 but the episode too. that I watched, I was laughing my ass off the whole time. And it was super interesting. It's good. Don't be wrong. I think it was the one where they took the IQ I think that this way. Kind of peeking into what the wrestler does everyday life is good. But I don't like it when, when I see um, two people be chilling in WWE. Um, I don't, okay. I don't like to see, you know... Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn just had a, a tough match, always kill each other in the backstage, chilling, laughing, breaking bitches. No, dog, that was a good movie, you did over here. I don't want to see that. But they, wanna, they, I, I they, don't do, see that. they do make sure that they don't fuck that up a lot of times w- when it comes to social media. Because yeah. Nia is best friends with Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Yes. But they play, they play <laughs> they that angle not, perfectly. Yeah. They have not done tons of Nia I, has been more with Paige yep. than anything. Yeah. Now you see, I like that. As long as they keep that same That's because she, Nia's amazing. I mean, yeah, you saw an outfit, boy? Yo, she felt Yo, yeah, shit. Okay, I saw speaking, it, I was like, what? Speaking of divas, mm. Talk to there us, is girl. rumor that there is going to be a women's tag Ooh. team championship. The only way this works 
is if the tag team championship goes between both SmackDown and Raw. It, it, appar- it. Apparently, it's going to come to both brands. Um, that is the rumor. Um, I feel like there's actual buildup now with, you know, you have, have a lot of- you have the, you have, um, Ruby Riot and her crew, you have um, Absolution. Absolution. They just you, brought up these girls from NXT. Um, Iconic Duel. That Duel. Alexis, Duel. Alexis, uh, Alexa Bliss and um, Mickey James, they have this whole relationship going on so right now. So talk about Duel with the fact that they hold each other's hands? I love I mean, it. It's you know? weird. I mean, it's what girls do. They do do that, dude. Okay, so are you, okay, besides that, are you excited for, if there's a women's, I feel like this is a good push. What's your take so on we're not gonna acknowledge this, this creepy shit. We're not gonna acknowledge it. It's not creepy. It's just, it's girls creepy. do that shit. Yeah, they do Girls that. could get away with yeah. that stuff. If I held your hand, it's creepy as fuck. It's weird. No, I just think that, you know, like, no country. <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, I think Alex. See, he wanted to sit next to you. I mean, I mean, I like, I can trust each other's titties. Like, ooh, girl, that's some good titties. Yeah. And lick them, all of that. No, we don't, we don't lick titties. I can't go, no. I can't go, yo, Leo, so I see that, I see that big print looking big, my nigga. Looking big. I can't say that. That's no, a wild game. You really can't. You can't. That's a wild game. Yeah. Listen, I have. Y'all gonna be like, oh, man, your butt is so big. Hey, squeeze it. I can't go. Yeah. No, in high school and college, yes. These wow. are grown women <laughs> holding each other's hands to the ring. So it's at a high school. It's part of the gimmick. I don't give a fuck. They're best friends. friends. They're best friends. I don't know. Are they having sex with each other too? Maybe. No, Who cares? No, no. Even if it's they are. Weird. It's weird. I don't fine. like it. It's a weird gimmick. They come down the ring holding each other's hands and they look weird. How about Mickey James and Trish Stratus? That whole thing. But it never went nowhere because Because Mickey James was trying to sleep with Trish Stratus. Yes. That was the gimmick. Who was yeah. it? Who yeah, was she it? wasn't trying to sleep. Mm. Even now. Exactly. Mandy Rose though is taking that spot. The porno? Really? She looks like she looks like Trish. Yeah, she does. Yeah. She's yeah. Like, she looks like a young Yeah, yeah but yeah. I'll take to, Trish now. To go back to the tag team, this is dope. Hell yeah. This is dope because huh. it adds more options for these ladies. It does. It does. Because they're just oh. not just Muddling in a mid card. Yeah, for no reason. and it's like it, it gives them more things. Leo, you have something? Um, they're just like people commenting and stuff. Like what are they what? saying? Oh, um, see what I mean? See what I mean? He just <laughs> looks at the camera. Hi. Huh? Hey guys. <laughs> um, so someone said some of people t- talked t- said about the uh, um beyond K- beyond the man. All right, and give us some what exactly. Like they, they just said that it was beyond the mat. Like, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So I think it's great. What do you think about it? To be honest, I think it's real great. It's about time. They said that the women's tag team titles is possible with the dual brands. Um, and um, yeah, I think also it. said. Oh, um, Matt said to, um by his show in the Bronx. Yes, four twenty. We know Matt. I was gonna say that later. Thanks. <laughs> um, nevertheless, <laughs> that tag team division. It's about time, but let's not focus what they didn't do, shoulda, woulda. Let's focus on it. I think it's really great. The reason it's gonna work is because of the fact that now both that every single pay per view is co branded. It's gonna work yeah. that. Yeah, it's not. It's no, not only that. No, but to me, it has to. The belts. You can't have one belt per for each thing. You have to have it float between. You have to SmackDown and Raw because there's not enough women to like fill that out for just you're gonna have so two, like two or three that, tag teams be the end of the separate roster no i think you could just just like you have john cena floating about just going back and forth and shit like that yeah. you can have the belt itself as like whoever just, holds it whoever holds it and you can have like a number one contender match here and there and then like have a some they, they'll figure something out but Some i think the belt like, should um, float between the beginning when the world championship the WWE championship float between two yeah. shows yeah, yeah that worked out but what do you think? I think it's a one. It's about time. Two. The reason why it didn't, it's not it didn't happen before is because there was not a strong enough women's roster. You had too many women that was comfortable just being on the sidelines and getting paid, and not enough women that was willing mm. to get in the ring and actually scrap and earn a spot in that roster. So now, when you have all these women that are just ready to go at any given time, now it's time to work. Now it's time to throw some belts in the mix and make things more interesting. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll have a, all, all women's uh, pay-per-view. Something, but 
it's not gonna happen now, but it's they it's a foundation for something. It's they the just foundation. did the Saudi Arabia shit. Don't put that face. There's no women in a Saudi. In no, that. I'm saying that they could have a yeah. A yeah, they could. They could have in the it, future, but, but they have you realize the there's not now. But you realize there's no women on that on that show. No, right? no, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, because I know, I know the reasons of, why. Because yeah, of, of why course. we're not gonna get into that, but. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, move, 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 we'll move on. Well, I'm to people. Let's talk about wow. NXT. Wow. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's talk about NXT. Quick recap. I'm gonna go around, see, say what you like, what you, what stood out to you. NXT was fucking amazing. It was dope. It was. Fucking amazing! Adam Cole, baby! It was great! It was, it told a story, it was great action, it was high fucking spots, my dick got hard! <laughs> it was big dick stars across the fucking board! You know what? The thing is, every single match was very high. Big dick status. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, because every single, I wasn't disappointed at all with either match. I thought I wasn't. Oh, I that's a I, shirt. <laughs> big dick status. That's a shirt. That's a shirt. Merch coming soon. Yoga flames and big dick status. Ray, no. Drain, no. You ready again? You ready, no. Y'all ready, no. Jabba Tears merch. Coming soon. Coming soon. And a shirt called Big Dick Status. Mm. So we just. Y'all should just have a picture of y'all going like this. Ooh. Big Dick yeah. Status. Just the arms, though, just like that. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna trademark that shit, then you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, each match was like on point. Every single match was on point. Um, there were stories told, high spots, and everything was, it was great. Mind you, I watched the shit after I saw the Ring of Honor one, so like, it was like, at two, oh, Ring, of two, Honor. Ring of Honor was fucking great, too. Everything was Who on stood point. out to you? In Ring of Honor? Yes. Um, two matches that stood out the most were obviously the Kenny and Cody match. That was a great match to watch. You know, they, one they spot were... that they did, that I haven't seen wrestling, probably never, well, we probably did it in the backyard I used to wrestle, is the fact that they took the table, put it to the side, mm. and Cody slamming onto there. I was just like, man, that is amazing. Yep. That was just something, that was like, big, big dick snaps. Yeah, big it dick was, snaps. it was. Even the um, the other match was that I really liked was the uh, the six man tag match between um, the Bucks, the Young Bucks, and Flip Gordon that versus um, SoCal Uncensored. That was like I mean, those were the two best matches of the overall, night to me. NXT reminds me so much of Ring of Honor, but NXT just had better camera work. That's what it is. At the end of the day, it's the production value. Because honestly, sometimes I'd be watching Ring of Honor. I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, B. Come on, what's up? Get out the on? way. Like, yeah. well, you're not putting it at the right well, spot. You have but then the other thing is you have the formula. And then you have billions of dollars. That yeah, is true. That is true. Yeah. That is true. And plus, you have a formula you've perfected since, like, what, the 80s? So it's true, like exactly. true, true. They've been Ring of Honor's been there for sixteen years. How long has yeah? They've been not just still, they're, they're still working on it. Um, they're still working on it. But overall, my my recap for NXT Takeover it was great. Big dick ties across the board. Um, that last match, it told that shit an was crazy. Story yeah. The ring. yeah, amazing overall. That whole. Heel turn by my son, Roger Strong. He joined the new era. That was great. You know what? I mean, it was great that he did it. And I, I finally, Roger Strong has something to do. But, um, cause I, I'm not, I'm not, a, honestly, I don't, not that big of a fan of his. He does, he does, he does. He does. He does. He does. All the titles. He does. But um, the other thing is like, they kind of had this storyline already with, with Sanity when they were trying to get him on Sanity and then they just rehashed the same thing with the Unspeeded Era. Didn't he join Sanity for a little bit? No. They were trying to get Eric him Young was trying to get him for a yes, while. Yes, yes. But then like, it's, they rehashed the same thing. That's why I was like, all right, I knew you were probably gonna do it this time, but like, it wasn't, to me it wasn't that. Sanity or Undisputed? No, I know that. I mean, I get that. But yeah, I'm just saying, I'm they just saying, rehashed the storyline. You know, I can see like, it coming this time because. You saw like, you know, Perry Ellis or Gasoline and Cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not enjoying the insanity. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then like Artist Blue has a very NWO-ish kind of feel to me. And the thing is, all of them are Ring of Honor too. Every oh. single one of them. But you know what's funny? 
My big dick status match of the night. Hmm. Shayna versus Amber Moon. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That was big dick status Ooh, of the night. That was mega big dick status mm. of the night. Because it was big dick status across the board, mm. but this was mega big dick status. Mm. And me- mega big dick status number two. Would you say Super Saiyan big dick status? No, no, no. We're not going there yet. Oh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, one day. One day. It's like a five star match. Mm. Nobody was a five star match. Just watch but, New Japan. You'll see five star matches yeah, on the regular. Exactly. The unsanctioned match. That was a great fucking match. That was mega big dick sex. Mm. But again, with these unsanctioned matches, right? Why does that referee? Somebody needs to count. Somebody needs to count. Yeah. Count Who's and count? submit. That's it. That's literally what he's there for. So why do you call a um, anywhere fall match? It still needs feet. to be in the ring, apparently. Yeah. For some fucking reason. I have no idea why. They have to call it in the ring yeah. because you have to get that shot. Mm, it's, pretty much. It's, all, it's mostly... I remember, it's not like it used to be before. Technically, it can happen anywhere, but the reason why you want it to happen in the middle of the ring, you want to get that hard cam and get that shot because when you get that and shot... you want the crowd reaction You can too. get the crowd's reaction. You could stream it through social media. That pop once, you know... The winner mm-hmm. so, know, defeats the other. I love that match everywhere. Every everything that was done that match was such great storytelling. Mm-hmm. And Shayna Baszler versus Ember Moon is the big dick status of the night. Mega big dick status of the night. But I'm putting them both next to each other. Mm. Of two mega big dick status. Hey, that make ultra dicks. You're getting closer to Super Saiyan? Mm, real close. What's Leo? up? What's up, What's up Lee? Lee Kravitz said... Mm. Sounds to cry. The ladder match was a big dick status. Don't pause. The ladder match was? It was good, but I felt that... They had big dick stereo with the ladder. No, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. The, the ladder match was really, really good. It's what we expected it to and be. The, to yes, be and, and, and that's, that's what, what it is. is. Yeah, that's we what expected it that. You already knew it was going to be good. But... The other two matches, the I guess. The other two matches told more of a story. Mm. While the latter match was fucking phenomenal, it was spots. Mm. No real story being told, whatever. Like we weren't seeing a struggle of Adam Cole having to having to worry about um conserving his body for the next match type of shit. We just saw a match. Yeah, he went all out. He went all out. Which is good. But Shayna versus Ember showed something. And then the last match when he fucking took the um the the, the knee brace and put oh, it against yeah. his face. Yep. Zion yeah, Wrestling fucking, was yep. telling a story. Then his, then his girlfriend ran down the ring. This is all quality storytelling. Oh my gosh. It's something indie. you could build. Yeah, it's just a yeah, builder. So you know what it is though? NXT has better storylines right now than fucking me. Yeah. Well, that's it's, the only, thing. it's only five it's only like five matches. Yeah, five but matches. three matches a night. But what I'm telling you is also like when you have because this has been the case for like what the past two three years already that NXT is out doing WrestleMania all the fucking time. Well, every main event, every, every, every main pay per view, yeah, every time. Fucking Brooklyn. Oh, it two, was three, four, over. five, or six, whatever the fuck. Like I guess you have to understand. They're better. Like, they're better at creating storylines in a three hour time frame for NXT than they are in a seven fucking hour pay per view that I have to sit in the whole fucking time at the stadium. <laughs> the first three hours of WrestleMania, great. Yeah, I felt that when I was watching it. But you know, I'm a WWE head, and I will defend them. You gotta look at it in a different way. Vince is heavy handed right now. And it's, the creative team is not bad, but they're not doing the long run of things. They haven't done it for a while. And NXT is doing the long run of things. That's why it works. The only long run of things that they got right was the Nia Jax bliss shit. That's the only long game storyline that they have gotten right. So now that we're talking about that, let's just roll into WrestleMania recap because I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling everything you just said right now. We can we can talk about that first. Wait, um, what's up, Double D? Zeus Zabis nine eight five said, "What about the Black vs. Almas?" Great fucking match. Oh shoot! But it wasn't Big Dick Status. It was a mega Big Dick Status match. It didn't paint that much of a story. It didn't. It was Big Dick Status. Yeah, but not mega Big Dick Status. Mm, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's my reaction so, to that. So let's. So I'm gonna do this one because this is a long pay per view. Yo, this is a long pay per view. I I, I want to. You mentioned Naya and you mentioned Bliss. Let's just 
jump into the women's first. Ladies no, we'll first, do that. right? That's fine. <laughs> Honestly speaking, um, we all knew Nia Jax was gonna win. That's that's be real. We did, we and I took close. six shots for that. How how did you feel after that? I was fucked up the next day. Oh. <laughs> I was fucked up the next day. I said, "Yo, you what?" I was like, "Yo, yeah." I was like, "Why are you so loud?" I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I was so. She won. I called the witches over. She takes shots at Jameson. She pulls him over. I took him. I did Jada. Yeah, you did. I just straight took him. Then. I didn't really eat because I was running around the whole entire thing. Oh, <coughs> oh fuck. That fucked you up. So then I'm sitting there. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> the whole world just shifted. Yeah, it, it felt like, like, like I hit another dimension where. <laughs> so. Oh, this is what alcohol is. Now, I don't have a cousin Leo story for this week, but let me have the big dog, big wolf story this week. Mm. So, this is a, it's a treat for y'all. It's a treat for y'all. So, it's a treat for the live feed. I don't know about the YouTube thing. Leo cut this part out, you feel me? But it's exclusive for the live feed, exclusive. So, we all made chilling there in the cut, you know. I guess he had a couple of his friends there, and one of his friends brought like a female friend. This guy tried to convince this little girl, like, yo, you know, look at my brother, you look just like me, you know, you losing weight, you know, you got a big dick like me. I was like, whoa. He says, wow, comfortable. <laughs> and she was laughing, like, oh, but yeah. He's like, but yeah, not my brother, though, but him right here. I guess it was his friend. He was like, yeah, you know, he got good credit. He said, yeah, I'm talking 850. He live on the Upper East Side. Bullshit, nobody got no fucking 850. My girl has 850. She got 850? Yeah. Nice, I guess it's got to say 805. Huh? This girl's not white. The girlfriend is white though, so you expect that from her. So anyway, the girlfriend's not white. She's not white. We can't prove that. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> I met her on Sunday. She's actually really lovely though. Again, nobody seen your girlfriend before. Like I don't know kind of like I, sorcery I, I come up with. I think I've seen her Instagram. Stories. You see my Instagram all the time. Again, I don't know what, what Davey seen. Clearly, I you, see a white woman. You want woman. me to pull it up? Again, you know, I couldn't see a white woman all the time. It's I'm not a person. filter, it's her. So listen. She was impacted. I never let up. You, she said that recklessness, and the guy, she looked at him laughing, and the guy was just like, I mean, you know, what What happened to that? Did they end up getting together? They used to date back in the day. Mm. Why'd you give him a second chance? So I was trying to do when I was drunk. Damn. <laughs> fucked up. And, and the thing about it with me, I'm a happy drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was happy, you know. I, I, I never met. Nia just won. Huh? Nia just won, of course you're happy. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not like an angry drunk. Never been an angry drunk. And not belligerent. Yeah, I'm not a belligerent. I'm like, I'm just happy. I want to hug people, make people feel happy about themselves. So I'm not that kind of drunk. But I was fucked up. You were barely when you Like, I woke up the next day. <laughs> Yeah, I am a bailey. So, wifey picks me up. <laughs> wifey picks me up. I get in the car. I'm fucked up. She's like, you hungry? I was like, yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go to 53rd and 6th for some halal, halal guys. <laughs> what? Damn, what time was this? It was like, two, it was like 1 a.m. at 1 30. We, we, we gotta do like a bunch of shit after. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let's go there. That's the best when you're drunk. And then though. she's like, I'm, I'm not, not gonna driving lie. up there. We're on 33rd and we have to go downtown to go to Jersey. And I was like, all right, all right. McDonald's. There's one on 14th between 1st and 2nd. There is one, yeah. yeah I, Yo, how did you know this? There is one. You forgot to work nightlife for Mad Long? Oh. So we get there. That's true. I ordered a large plate, extra hot sauce. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But the white sauce on there, I'm in the car. I'm eating so sloppy. And she just bought a new car. Oh. It's a BMW. Oh. And it's like a big one, so we're sitting there. And she's like, "Don't get shit on my car, nigga." <laughs> you like get yelled at, don't you? Right? I don't know. So, I'm, so then I, I end up closing it. All I remember is me getting home, taking off my shoes while I was on the couch. Next thing I know, I'm up the next day, laying face down on the couch. Halal guys next to me, and she going, "Don't you have work to go to?" So I get up. It's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> what? I take a shower real quick. I don't even know if I really took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go, lie to you. If you put on the order, I think you're good. I think, I, I think I literally turned the water on and it turned it off after. <laughs> I let the water pour on me for like two minutes and then pour. I got dressed. You rinsed yourself. Yeah. I took so long to get to work. Like you know, I, I'm late at this point. I was like, took my sweet time. I walked up, got down the train, found a seat, and passed out. Then I woke up with the conductor waking me up like, yo, last stop. I was like, oh shit. 
I go fuck that day. What time you got to work? Like 30 minutes late. Uh, That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm only like 30 minutes early. That was like, so were you, so you were on time then? Nah, I, mean, uh, I was fucked up. No, but that's Spanish shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is just Spanish shit. That's what I mean in general. I have to stop for breakfast. Huh? I didn't get back with that. I would have stopped for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. You know, you live in Jersey, but I don't make book good, good like the like Cold store, cheese. Yeah. But New York, I'm gonna get, I get, I get, I get cheese. Right, nah, nah. right at the I was cart. good. I was good. I was good. I end up recovering last night because you because the event we had 1,100 people at the event. Yeah, sorry. So I was running around to both venues. Yeah. And I didn't really eat. Yeah, of course. And I didn't sleep the night before either. Right. Because I got home at like almost two o'clock. And I had to be up at like seven. Yeah, right. Woke up at seven. I was up like five hours. Right. So I was fucked up until like last night. But anyways, WrestleMania in general, I enjoyed it. It was the good. The question I saw and then when I rewatched it again. My only issue is what you said. It's fucking long as fuck. But I told you this before. It needs to be that long. You have a, such a huge roster. And you got to like... Feed everybody. It's everybody got to eat. Show okay, this everybody. is the thing. I don't mind it being seven hours long as long as they get the card order correct and they didn't. That's where they fucked up to me. Because for me, I would have started. I'm not caring that much about the pre show. The pre show was fine as it was. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have started with the Seth Rollins match, with the triple threat match for Intercontinental Champ. I would have started with the, if anything, I would have started with the um, US title match. The Intercontinental match should have been where the Braun Strowman match was. Oh my gosh. Exactly. The WWE um, Championship should have been the main event because, and they should have built that even better. Um, Undertaker John Cena, that happened when it happened. Everything else was Undertaker pretty much. Undertaker John Cena should have been the pre show. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy what they were doing. Kurt I Angle, saw the vision. Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey should have came after the Bludgeon Brothers one. To me, nah. Let's talk about that match. Which one, the Kurt Angle? Yes. Oh, it was fucking amazing. It was thought, a be- to me be best be match of the trash. night. I thought it was gonna what be. What are you talking about? I thought it was gonna be trash. Best match of the night for me. It was the best match of the night. Yep. No, nah, it wasn't the yep. best match. In terms of entertainment value overall and the way it was scripted the whole way, it was the best match of the night. So you know what? I'll give you that because. But when I'll I go to, with the IC title match. That's but the hold best on, one. when I got that's to the, work, that's the best one. My core was like, um, I know you like wrestling, and then. I like saw so, like the Oscar WrestleMania match. last really night, good. and I was watching it, and then that bitch, an all black talking about Stephanie, she kept hitting her. And I was like, I can't stand this bitch. Great storytelling. Yeah. Because you don't know who the person is, and you already have some type of feeling. That's why I like So it. I will give you a little bit of story. It was a little bit it of story. Entertainment it was done. value. And it was done. The angles. Ronda, the, the match was solid. Yeah. I wish it was the best match of the night. You bugging. Nah, no, I it feel it was to me. Of because I mean, overall, because like, of the entertainment value, that's why it was the best I one. I felt when the like the the whole like the whole match really picked up and got really flowing is the part when I think Triple H had dragged out Ronda out. Yeah, break. that's where everybody started. That's when it took a turn for the better. Because Triple H was there. And the fact that Triple H came to the ring and what, that's when the moment I realized Ronda it's kind of like a Chris Benoit hybrid is when like she squared up like arms like a real dude like yeah. yo I'm about to beat the crap out of you how she rolled up picked them up onto his shoulders I seen that I was just like if she slammed Triple H the all whole, the whole rolled, stadium would have yeah, exploded it would have interrupted and everything he did during the era he was world champion would have been erased it would, I would have forgave him they, for Booker T that's why they didn't do it and the fact that Stephanie came out was just like typical Triple H. Can't, just can't say something to make it right again. But overall, that was a very, very good it match. It was a good match. And it was an okay match, a good match. I can't give it you that. Because she was so sloppy. Who? Ronda. Ronda, she was a I think it was more on was Stephanie's yeah. and that was more sloppiness yeah. than anyone. No, but she can't do she was throwing the punch at Triple H. Look. I'm like, I don't believe this. But it's like a, um, it's like a rapid punch, like. It looks shit. Yeah, it does. But Triple H sold it good. No, it looked like how when I first started training and I was trying to strike. That's exactly what it looked like. It looked like. It looked shit. It looked like a. It looked actual, like a match. That was actual after boxing training. for that's her. What that's like. what it was. Yeah, yeah but she was using no, her boxing. No, no, no. Okay, so no, my nigga, same boxing to wrestling. Who yeah. punches out words? Ronda's or Shane's? 
I'll take Shane's. Uh, as worse? Oh, no, no, as better. Oh. You're fucking crazy. You're crazy. You, I'm, I'm what? You're crazy. I'm crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, whose punches are worse? Shane, Sugar Shane, or I mean Shane O'Mac? Sugar Shane. Or Ronda Rousey. How's your boy Shane, by the way? He's doing good. Mm-hmm. He's all right. So, my big dick mix match of the night goes to Braun Braun Strowman. Yeah! Braun Strowman and Nicholas. That's your big dick, man. That's my big dick of the match. It might be pedophile pedophilia because I said big dick was yeah. in there. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know, for kids, I say big Lego status. Big Lego status. There you go. Big Lego status of the night. That shit hurts when you step on it. Was, yeah, yeah, shit does. Yeah, it does. It was Braun Nicholas. Because you know what? It was fun. It was a moment. It was something it for the was kids. It was fun, and I get it where you're coming from, but it was the, a disservice to the whole tag team division. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a huge disservice to the whole team. It was mad That's the only reason that it's like a downturn. Yeah, that's how I feel like Don't get me wrong. When, we, when I was there, being there, when like the kid got into the ring, and we were all like, fucking yeah, do something cool. And then he did. I was like, if that was me, I would have like ran up to him and just started fucking talking yeah, about him or some yeah. shit. And he just like froze. I get him freezing the 78,000 people. You're 10 and you just got picked out of the crowd. Supposedly he was one of the like referees, referees kids. So, yeah. But um still like I get it, but at the same time it would have been awesome if he had done something. But I also get, you know, freezing seventy eight thousand people. Again, you're right. But I to me the whole thing was just like You buried old division. Yeah, you kinda you, you fucked And after that Braun just alright, he's a tag team title. Yeah, on raw, exactly. He just went away as Mary. I'm looking like it's because they need Braun on WrestleMania. The thing, what they should have done was let him go against them by himself. That's it. No. Yes. I wasn't that surprised. I because that build up was good. It made you think who the gonna be, who's gonna be his um partner, who's gonna be his partner, who's gonna be a partner. One thing I've got to talk about. What? Cedric Alexander made history that night. Great fucking match. As being the first black wrestler to win a title at WrestleMania. Pop it up. Pop it up. Hashtag Black Exodus. But that was my biggest moment of the match. Now, my disappointment of the night. <laughs> AJ Styles versus like 16 Nakamura. I was disappointed. I was too. But I was. Because I've seen their new Japan match. Exactly. And exactly. It exactly. was yeah. like I was waiting for them to kick the living fuck out of each other and WWE played it way too fucking safe. And I was like, one, you didn't build the shit properly. For either him, for either um Nakamura after he won it, or Asuka. They didn't give a fuck about promoting either one properly. That's why Asuka lost as well. And that's why Nakamura lost. Two, like I said, saw the new Japan match in Wrestle Kingdom 9. It Not the compare. same caliber. It didn't compare. It was good for what it was. It was a good match for Russell, for WrestleMania. It was fine, but like with all the hype saying this is a dream match, the Sam the Sami Zayn Nakamura match in NXT was, was ten times fucking better. It was way better. This one didn't paint a story to me until he turned fucking heel. That's when he was just like, okay, if that's what you were doing from the beginning, you should have had him going at it full speed from the beginning. You're right. You're 100 percent right. There wasn't a buildup, and I hate the fact that they have faces versus faces. I fucking hate that. Now, you brought up Oscar and Charlotte. Oh no. The fact that Oscar tapped out, I didn't like. Tapped that. out, then yeah, got up, like. and then congratulated her. Kicked the chick in the fucking face. Let's get some. I don't like this at all. That should have been the heel turn. Yeah. That should have been a major heel turn. And she should have turned up on the roster. Yeah. Like literally ripping girls' head off and everything like that. But yeah. the one thing I like about the whole, like, well, we talk about my smack that later, but go ahead. But I guess my kind of disappointment was, I asked the Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon match. It's just like. I said the same thing. It was, yeah, I was agreeing with you. Like, it was, it was okay. Cool. Yeah. It was okay. okay. But it's just like. You can tell that. Anybody that was wrestling Daniel was very timid to, to even do something, yeah. Do anything to him because they were worried about him. Even though he's cleared, you as a wrestler, you will always have that fear because you do not want to be the reason why another competitor can never do Sasha what they LaPage. love again. Oh shoot. It's not we we'll get to that. Okay, we'll so um dang, what else we what else are we gonna cover? Um, so how many big dicks we give in WrestleMania? Hmm. Wait, how many big dicks is the ratio? Oh, 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 five or five? Yeah. Five. Oh. five is the greatest? Yeah. Three. Three? Five is in five inches? 
No. Not a big dick. <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. It depends on the woman. Yeah, it depends on the first game too. Okay. One to five. So is this like a six inch or a nine inch? No. 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 Shut we, up. We're not talking about. <laughs> Somebody said two point five. Two point five big dicks. Two point five. Two point five to three. I gave it a three. I gave it. I gave it three point five big dicks. Big dick status. I stick at three. Question. Oh, we talk about when we get to raw. I guess. <laughs> what happened? Matt also the three midget dicks. <laughs> <laughs> midget usually have big dicks. Lord Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister apparently the, has one. Cause so we're gonna go off subject a little bit. So um. Growing up, we used to watch the Spice Channel. Oh, 65. at 12 a.m.? <laughs> no, during, during the day. Oh, that's but, sad. I, I, I had a little cable. We did. I get home after school. Hey, you had a little cable. And then yeah. I'd watch it. I think so like then, it's Spanish black. Yeah. yeah. So then what? I know, um, St. Patrick's Day is in March, right? Is it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, March. Yeah, yeah. So then. The month of March, they read a special about midget porn. Oh my god, that must have been amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that must have so, been so much fun to watch. And, and I was like, yo, what is this? Because they were running like midget porn for that month of March. And Did they have the Wee Man one? Yes. Yes. So then they had midget porn, and I was like, yo, these motherfuckers are packing me. Like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, this is crazy. That's <laughs> so that's why I'm like, yo, if you gonna say <laughs> two bits of dick, I'm like some. <laughs> All right, moving on. Matt, you see what you're starting? <laughs> moving Matt, on. Matt, Matt's telling us to stop. Yeah. <laughs> stop. All right, so we. Go from HR said 3.5 dicks. No, that's not the scale, you know. No, it is. You said three. It is. Yeah, she said five. Five. No, big dicks. You can't say regular dicks for this one. Oh, big yeah. dicks. Listen, she can do whatever she wants. She just she had like a HR. mission back to New York. She is HR. And yeah, you know. And she can do whatever she wants. What else? And a- Ross, I'm rated. Oh no. How many big dicks y'all give WrestleMania? Get get to us. Yes. Oh, um, said two point five. Tell Cooler to shut the okay. fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk. You're not here. You see this empty space? You're not here. So so we all been like real thirsty to talk about Raw. Because it was fire! It was fire! <laughs> Raw was fucking fire! I finished, I finished up. My bad, my bad. No, no, but he was saying everything I was saying. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so fire me. <laughs> Never turn off a room. Was. I watched it on the flight home, honestly speaking. I watched the first hour on the flight good. home, and um, so good. So good. the only thing I didn't like, n- no way Jose, there's no reason for him to be on main um, yeah. to me. Um, Jeff Hardy coming back he was dope. People. That was dope. Yeah. <laughs> he got people. Nah. Yeah. What's no, going what on, you, Jeff? What do, you, what, do you have, what do you have against No Way Jose? He's trash, dude. He is trash. I like Adam that. Rose will be packed. It is. Yeah. That's exactly what we said on the flight. And we both just looked at each other. We were like, why the fuck is Adam Rose back? <laughs> like, that's the first, a Dominican Adam Rose. That's literally what it was. Like, we just we <laughs> we put our shit back on. I was like, what the fuck? Yo, leave my Uber driver alone, right? <laughs> 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 He's blasting the tunes, right? Oh, man. So, no surprise that Ronda Rousey attacked Stephanie. I mean, we all saw that. I was happy about that. A mile away. Um, Raw was a great... Is it considered a coming home show, the the show after? Yeah. Yes. So, it was a phenomenal coming home show. And so, WrestleMania is basically the end of a season Mm -hmm. for wrestling. Mm -hmm. It's the Super Bowl. it's It's the NBA Finals. It's the MLB, whatever, World Series. It's the end. Now, this is a great way to start the, the new season of wrestling. My Uber driver on the way to the uh, to the airport asked the question because he went to WrestleMania as well. Yeah. He asked the question. He was like, "Do you think that just like the NFL, NBA, soccer, whatever, like that wrestling should have like a off season, like when they could like put shit together?" Honestly speaking, properly. I think they should. Yeah. I and when he the, said that, I was like, oh shit, I never they thought They should about have at that. least, I'll a give two it one month off. One month, 30 days. 30 days off, everybody goes do what they have to do, do what go they chill. Have to do, go family, chill with family, yeah. and then come back. Now, if WWE did that, I think it'll be so much better. It'll be so much better, less injuries, will be re- and more super people will be yeah. enticed to, to go to WWE. Because people complain about, about the work schedule. And on top of that, it's just like, it'll be more hype for the Raw after WrestleMania because you have a month off. You have a month off, and then 
the new if the new season started, it's the season opener. And Think that's when you do the shake up. You do the shake up, you that do, you do the draft. draft, you do everything. Yo, Jaden. Yeah. 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 Hey, Pay monies. So Pay Sir Wilkins. Mm-hmm. Now what I what I, what I love first, Nia's champion, first of all. Yeah. yeah. Baby girl's champion. She she's basking in the glory. Ember Moon comes out. We're loving this shit. Mm. I didn't expect Ember Moon to be called up. I didn't, I didn't up. expect that. Me either. Did I you? expected I it to. Expect. I expected her to be called up before when she lost to Asuka. But then when she won the fucking belt again, I was just like, okay, she's gonna be there for a while. But I didn't expect her to be called up that. I didn't expect her to be called up me that. Let's make that, quick, that quickly. I think after that she lost. Ember yeah. Moon is nice addition to the Raw roster. Because I feel like it's more of ref- a I'm trying to focus. It's more. Yeah. Ember Moon being back, I fucking love it. Then. I was. I did like the idea. I think that Ember Moon being a part of the Royal roster is giving more refresher look. Because, again, hashtag um, Black Girl Magic. I love seeing my black queens on the screen, this, that, and third. But it's nice to see her up there because I know she would be a great storyteller. You could probably match up with the. Naomi. With the I think oh she should have went, so, I think she went much, to SmackDown if it was Naomi, Naomi and her. That's too Naomi. much queenness right there. Naomi. But imagine her doing something with the Woken universe. Oh my gosh. Ember Moon and them through talking, you get real. Uh, you know my favorite segment of the night? The Jeff Hardy one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That that was, that, it was done so perfectly when they were like, what the hell was that? He was like, mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> just kept walking. I was like, I clapped. I was like, that was done so fucking it was, well. It was, what was done well? You know, I was asking if you guys have touched on black excellence in uh, WrestleMania and Raw. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about that, Janelle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right now. As we're to- as we're- Why are you <laughs> sending me to hell? Like, yeah, right, right. That's <laughs> what you right, said before. Right. Right. First of all, <laughs> if you want to go there, you don't want to go off subject. Bobby Lashley. Oh, my, a pops? Oh, he's not a pops. Amber <laughs> Moore. You be hanging, son? Come on, come on, please. No, black ass No, we're not doing this. Cedric Alexander. There's a lot of, a lot of quality. Quality. Black ass yeah, Dark skin. Dark skin. <laughs> We're not doing this right now. Come on, I'm, sir. I'm in my zone. Okay. And okay. then we have some Spanish people coming up. Mm. You can't tell me that office of pain are not Dominican. They oh. have to be. They have to they be. They have to somebody, be fucking Dominican. Somebody, hold on. The way somebody they speak Google. English, I'm just like. Yo, no, yes, Google no, that. Office of pain, I need Dominicanos or something like that. They gotta be something. They gotta be something. But the thing, are they some Yo, Because Samoan Naya was like brothers. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Naya, this Naya was brothers. like brothers. I don't know. You know what? Oh, I got Wait, I have a question. Sure. What's, was like Primo in the um? Primo Puerto Rican, yeah. No, no. Was Primo was in the Battle Royal? Yes, I believe so. Mm, okay, I was wondering about that. He was Epico guy. wasn't on it, but I, I know lie. Primo was. No, um, nah, it's it's the game. It's getting up there. But they're Armenian. They're, they're Armenian, Armenian, really. Oh wow! Oh, wow, so, okay. they look Dominican. Matt, Matt, awesome. Thank you, Matt. Awesome. They do. But listen. Fucking amazing. Moment of the night, Kurt Angle saying hey to to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are tag team the business full. I heard TNA is high. Oh my god. He said that shit? Yes. 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 I I was probably like. He probably saw him play. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. See how that's that's when it was landing. TNA, they could use that name on Impact. So everybody knows he's mentioned TNA. Oh, that's true. Mentioned Omega Impact. When he he said I was just like. Uh-huh. That's smart. That's, that's real smart. smart. Could not complain with on TNA. Everybody knows impact. I think that's real. Overall, WWE is going to a nice direction with a mixture, of, especially with Raw, of storytelling and wrestling. There's a few people who complain about it, but I can't conclusion when it comes to wrestling fans. You can't please anybody. You can sign the All Stars. You can sign, you know, um, you can sign all the Indian <laughs> gods. You can sign Jesus. You can sign Moses. Everybody. You have the All Stars. And I'll be a fly to vision. vision, though. Oh, shoot. You got to add a Dracula to it, too. Like, imagine Jesus versus the devil. Woo! <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> Cell match. Woo, whoever win, whoever yeah. wins takes over heaven. Oh now, man! Start? Oh, damn. <laughs> that's that's. I shouldn't say that's fire because it's hell. Oh my god! My only no. My no, only no. disappointment okay, of the that. night. Okay, my only disappointment of the night was the way they handled Samoa Joe and Roman. I liked it. I liked it no, to the point. I, I, I liked it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. it. But it didn't bury nobody. But I feel like I like. Where are you going with this? 
Simple. It's some old Joe. You can throw at anybody. It's cool. Yeah, but where are you going with this? He you has right? unfinished business with Roman Reigns. Right? Yeah, but are you putting the title on Roman? That is they true. They probably though. are. They probably put in the side of the rainbow. If you right. think about it, because of the fact that Brock Lesnar extended his contract probably for only one more match, he's probably going to lose it in Saudi, yeah, Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, and then you have the championship okay. program between you the two. You know one thing that you, you, you have two you Samoans know. against each other, and one is a very, very fucking good heel, and the other one that's trying exactly. to be a baby face but never working out. A, a mouse, a cat and mouse shape. One thing I didn't yeah. like is the way that it treated Elias. You went from being the main event so of Elimination annoying. Chamber, and then you got beat up by John Cena. And then you get beat up again by. I was just about to say that. Elias is a jobber. Is a high end jobber. Yeah. The fucked up thing is, he's talented as fuck to be like. He has his own main. show unplugged yeah. singing songs. Yeah. He's mad. Yo, he gets over with the guitar. He does. Not even like hitting anybody. He sings in the ring. Yeah. And it's entertaining. He I is misused or. Put him on SmackDown. That's it. The shake up is happening, so you might yeah. be able to make a down. That's probably the reason why they were doing yeah. this shit, too. Because, now, Bobby Lashley coming back, I was fucking hyped. Hype. Hype. My, my dick got hard. Pause. It was amazing. Now, what he did was it wasn't much. It's but he was throwing shots. But he did that, like, I mean, I saw him do the, the, the whole dominate and everything. He didn't even do it. I was tight. He did a, like the um the Falcon Arrow and that's it. Yeah, but he, it's a build up. A side note, y'all remember on SmackDown Two and SmackDown One when you do the moves just to tell you on the bottom mm-hmm. Falcon Arrow. Yeah, that's how I learned all the moves by the way through SmackDown <laughs> One and Two. We used to never turn it off. Guys learning the moves and stuff like that. Yeah, but oh yeah, no way, Jose was trash. Yeah, trash, just stupid, trash. You know, trash, trash. I don't know why they brought him up. I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with that. He, it's trash. To so make some, to make some empanadas. Yeah. It's like you have to, you have to give to the di- WWE is huge on diversity, so you have to. You're bringing. So you put a dancing Dominican. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, yeah. And believe it or not, Hispanics is good. We're gonna like that. Okay. People okay. are gonna like. Honestly, honestly, no. Honestly, no. We're gonna like that. I'm gonna that. be honest with you. There's probably gonna be some Dominican grandmothers be like, Oh, mira ese, he's dancing <laughs> on WWE, and they're gonna fucking watch it. They okay. Got, they might so scroll through this. and just watch so it. So Say this. Say this. This is this is. It's demographic. It's not a word. This is me asking me really honest. Yo, y'all get excited for wrestlers just dancing? Well, not wrestlers. I, just no. another. It's just a Hispanic. It's not the a Hispanic wrestler. Influence it's on, just like, the, yes, exactly. It's the Hispanic the presence, influence that's what it is. on TV where he's become. It's basically look, look, mamita, look. You want to wrestle, mira? You can wrestle, yeah, but exactly. you can dance too. You say you can do both. What? Like that's literally. But then again, what it I can't is. say nothing. It's kind of like how that you know, like how the Haitian sweat that kept away is, is Haitian. So they be like, kind of, oh, don't want, got it, don't want, got it, look, 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 look be like, don't I, want. I, I don't, no, no fight things you taste. Something things you taste. Well, I think you taste. Like, for example, when we watch the television, right? We see a hate perch on television. Why we be like, oh, got it, got it, look, 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 look. Why don't you be like him, this, that, and third? Yo, you, you get, you get hype. <laughs> You you oh, get hype seeing someone that honestly, you're culturally honestly, related to. Honestly, honestly, we all know who's the favorite one in this one. It's not third, but great thing why like, you never call her moms. You never call me what's up, boo. Hey, what's up? You never call her. By the way, hi mom, because she, she she watched this show, the actic viewer. Shout out to my mom, my boo, my everything. And you just asked your mom for some money. That's why you sucking up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ask for money. Oh, <laughs> well, anyways. So, but so you say, so you said overall that it's just some fact that just keep a damn record off. It's kind of like kind of when we see like someone might see, oh yeah, look at him dancing. It's why it's, it's why you have fucking Jinder Mahal as a champ. It's why you have okay. exactly. Exactly. You, said, you have the demographic. Said, uh, it's been white and a sprinkle of black for way too long. See, it has to be more different. Yeah. There you, go. there you go. That's why you have Shinsuke, Asuka coming up to me. Exactly. You have Kyrie saying in NXT. So if that's the case, you have. When was the last time they had major, even Asian, like Japanese people before? When was the last Asuka time they had a major black person win a major um, a title? Besides Booker T, exactly. That's nah. Like. Where did you my some book? Was terrible. It he was, was. one champion. I didn't feel his reign at the, all. The last time we had a Hispanic champion was fucking Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio after exactly. that. Exactly. Since when after that was. Seth Rollins. 
I think I don't count. You don't count. He's white. He is. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Yeah, he's Puerto Rican. Really? I, yeah. Colby Lopez. Yeah. But then again, is he he's full Puerto Rican? He's from like Ohio. Yeah. yeah and he's that's why he doesn't really count. Yeah. He's white. Really? Yeah. yeah. He's Puerto Rican. Stephon's Puerto Rican. His last name is Lopez, dude. But really? Is Lopez? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, time out, time out. He's Puerto Rican. I got somebody. I don't count. <laughs> Don't count. His last name is Lopez. Don't count. How does he just not count? count? Well, he looks more white than anything. Yeah. He's from Ohio. 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 Honestly speaking, you couldn't tell by just looking. Skinny Kravitz said he's Armenian. Yo, is double check that. Double check that is money. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's His last name is fucking. But then again, right bo- 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 oh, oh, Skinny Kravitz says not spent. His stepdad is knew it. So what is yeah, he? I told you, yeah. His stepdad is Mexican. What it says? Nationality American. It's on no, the internet. It's, American. No, what's his no, background? But... He's considered American. Uh, All of us are. Um, oh yeah, no, he is. He is Armenian, German, and Irish. Really? So why the fuck is his name what? Kobe Lopez? Exactly. He's so and he's and he's from oh, his stepdad. Mexican American stepfather. All right, there you go. You oh, take that right, away. Go. Go. Take it back. My bad, guys. So I guess you ain't got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got no way. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got the new medic I lost his title. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. you know, he needs to come up to me. Facts. I mean, he's re- he's really good, actually. Like, I mean, like in terms of know, wrestling, I, I like. He's just really, like, I feel like he really came a long way. Yeah. What do you did. think about um, Matt with Bray Wyatt? I've been called him. I've been called. Who's we good? knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. It's like What's crazy, but crazy. Well, I'm what about Golden Dottio? Who? What? The, a bunch of Dottio. Nah, he yeah. ain't. Nah. Fuck that nigga. Fuck him. After everything he's Yo, been doing recently. The way he treated my homegirl Paige. Fuck. He does too much. Like I feel like he does way too much. It's drugs. It's drugs and alcohol, man. It's drugs and alcohol. Too much. You know what it is? I hope I don't finish out by saying this. Shit, like, did it impact just fucking drop him too? Because he didn't show it to yeah, the vet. Exactly. No, but he's coming back. I feel like when it comes to like he's like but a he terminated like his he's he will have to fit better in more of the ruthless aggression era and the attitude era. Because his style, how he carries himself, is more that traditional old school triple H. Time and era. This era now, he doesn't really fit in because like he has such an old school mentality. So that's why I feel like I was like, all right. No, he's a piece of shit. That too. too. But that's then it. again, he will fit better than old school era. No, he's still a piece of shit. Old school, new school, fucking it's just the dynamic school. It's, it's, it's who, who he is. is. It's, it's who literally who he is. is. Who he's he a piece is. of shit. Oh, well, there you go. I try to help Pop him out. Him. No, what do you guys think about Paige's uh, retirement announcements? I ain't gonna lie, I got, I got my feelings. Yeah. yeah, I did too. Yeah, I remember when I saw the episode when she came on and won the fucking title on her debut. I, I was remember like, that. who is this? I was like, I'm in love with her. And but the good thing about it, you know, like, I feel like how she put in that happy, healthy way. So that's good for her. Yeah, you know? yeah. She, looked, she looks like, like because when, when she was on SmackDown, I was like, God. No, I know it's how that when she had a little ad, which is like, hi guys, yeah. this is my movie. The Saturday third, I feel that that's a great role for being a SmackDown a GM. Oh yeah, because, or even like a manager for like right. A, like and I feel like else, because like, her charisma got better over the years. It has. Her like presentation. She's matured. She matured mm-hmm. like. We forget how young she was until that moment like you just said. Exactly. I was like, 21, dude. Yeah, we watched her grow up on television. And now to make her see to a beautiful woman, like, dang, Paige, you've been through all of this. The fact that you recovered from that and the fact that WWE could not, because WWE could have kept her on TV for months, not giving no duties or nothing like that, kept on paying. The fact that they had that much faith in her, and maybe just because she had a movie coming out. They also could have dropped her after she got injured, too. Yes. They could have, and they didn't. They, they could have, but they didn't. Also, I listened to her on Lillian Garcia's podcast. You need to listen to that. A lot of women power on that shit. Um, you all listen to it, but you especially since you're a woman wrestler. And Paige was on there. And Paige was going through everything into the sex tape situation, all of that. I listen to her podcast then. No, Lillian Garcia's podcast is amazing. She has like she, she has a way of with people where like she brings out the best stories out of them. Yeah, so like talking to your aunt? Yeah, basically. So Auntie Lily. She's Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but she was speaking about the sex tape and what she went through. She felt like killing herself. But the fans really helped to get through the fans were like, yo, like we we respect you, you went through a lot, like you know what it is. But at the end of the day, like you guys said, that podcast I listened to it and, and then seeing that I was like, yo, being early 20s and being in the spotlight like that 
is a lot of fucking pressure. It's like we were just talking about this dude. What's Tristan Thompson and shit? Yeah. It's the same shit. A, like a people, young person being inspired I think like that. People, people shit on, like, when they see it, like, oh my God, you're fucking stupid. No. You're young. You're young and you got you're, money you're, you're and you're on with national good television. Money, like, granted, she probably getting paid like a million dollars a year. That's a lot of fucking money for from somebody from old. like. Is she, is, she, is she from Scotland? What is she from? Is no, she from? she's from the UK. UK. She's, UK. Yeah, right. This is Europe. She's, she's, she's yeah. from some she's middle, middle class, low yeah. middle class part of Europe and comes over here to the US, gets a shit ton of money, which is more money she probably ever had in her life. They're going to act fucking stupid. Never really dated anybody until Albert fucking Del Rio, piece of shit out home. But then again, no, she was making sex tapes, so. Yeah, but how many girls have, have, have videotaped themselves? That's it. But my thing, you know what it is? Speaking of that, though, it's just like, my thing is this. Was it, I, I, like, I don't know who leaked it or whatever, but this whole hacking people's phones and stuff like that leaked their personal images, I think that's personally wrong. You know, that's I think, horrible. I think it's horrible terrible. because like how that, that's terrible. Do you ruin your personal life? Yeah, you probably could recover from that. Eventually people forget about it. But it's simple fact that a simple Google search of that could come up. Yeah, and, and, but it's one thing that they, the WWE has to get better at is teach these girls to do better. 100%. I agree with you. So... It's like when you get drafted to the NBA or NFL, they have the coaches to teach you. Like, yeah. they have that And I don't think WWE to teach you has to gotten that to that level yet because Paige, having the Paige, JoJo, Charlotte... Am I, I'm keeping a buck. Am I mad about seeing these pictures? Absolutely not. But then again, though, you wouldn't like it if it was someone that woman that we like. And, and I know. I understand that. It's one of the things like, oh, she looked good, but then he looking like this, this could be my sister, this could yeah, be my girlfriend. Exactly. And you and you you like, oh damn, I liked it, but then damn, I should have liked this. Yeah. <laughs> so you feel conflicted. It's like it's But her but seeing her as a GM on SmackDown. I think she's gonna do great. She's gonna do great. She has a great personality. And she's very like stern. She has a mm-hmm. very she's yeah. very strong. Like once she says she something, like she will yeah. step, she's gonna step to the And point. then so how many big dicks we give in on Raw? Say four. Yeah, solid four. Solid yeah, four. Yeah, I'm going y'all too. Solid four big dicks were wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up, Lee? So, <clears throat> Matt also said um, Nadia has some stuff up. Don't get him excited. Stop. No, no. Relax. Relax. Matt Awesome, DM me, please. Wait a minute. Isn't that old stuff when she was a model and recent stuff? Probably old stuff. Yeah, so that don't oh, count. Oh. No, he, he was responding to what you just said. No, but he, he responded. He, he said all big dicks to, to the previous thing you just said. Okay. So how many big dicks you giving on Raw? Three and a half. Hmm? Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. yeah. I said four. She said four. Four, four big dicks from, from us. Oh. Four. Um... Speaking of speaking of um, Paige being, being GM, GM. stroll into SmackDown. Yeah. I think that's a really good idea. Great move. Like I said before, yeah. I, I tweeted it immediately once I saw that. I was yeah. like, "Great fucking move." That was like amazing. The Usos um, match was pretty good. The Usos match yeah. was good. Yeah, Usos have been have been phenomenal. They, they've been yeah. amazing. They've been putting on match out their ass. Yeah, that's they why I was kind of disappointed that how that the match at WrestleMania was so like. Yeah, I mean, look, bum, bum, bum. when I watched, I watched the match live, obviously, and then I watched it again. It, it was better. Like I watched it and broke it down, and I was like, it had its spots. It, it did, definitely cool. did have its spots. It was too short, though. It was way too fast, and they you couldn't really enjoy it as much as you could have. Yeah, yeah, they definitely well, the cut it down is, because of the. It was three tag teams in that match. And the Bludgeon Brothers can't go like that. Yeah, no. Okay, but there were three tag teams in the TLC match back in the 2000s. Wait, hold so up. Let's... Hold up. Those are two of you the most that? athletic big people. Exactly. What did they do with the Ooze a couple of years? Two out of three falls match? Come on, Daddy. They can't yo. go like that. They can't go like that because Luke Harper versus Luke Harper, Luke Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler for can't. the IC title. But they but, can't. But they, they, they can't. They can't. She's smoking. They don't have the chemistry. That's why. Yeah, they don't. And that they, 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 that's okay. They, they, they don't have it. But overall, because, they can no, go. No, you're, you're looking at it like from a different standpoint. They're you're saying not they, they can go anymore. physically. They can go. Oh, okay. but they can't go okay, that's chemistry wise. Oh, they, no, no, they because <laughs> you It's like being the third wheel and on, on, on a gate. Like the Usos, and the New, New Day know each other. Like 
Like the back of each other's hands. When you throw and it something Uso else. And the Uso may not know the Belgian brothers, but at the... No, Uso's know the Belgian brothers. The New Age. Individually. Yeah. Individually. Yeah. Individually. So, so they don't know them team. well enough. No, no, no. So, they do not as a team. They forget they fought the two out of three fours now. They're not well when enough. With the Wyatt family, but, yeah. But, but I'm talking about on a bigger picture. Now... With the Bludgeon Brothers in this situation now, Not having the belt and everything, having the yeah. belt, you extend this. This is why I talk about this, the creative, creative team. All right, new season. We have them inserted into, 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 into the bigger picture. Let's work it out. Let's write it out. Okay. SmackDown, they gotta fix that entire division because outside of them three, who's the second tier? That's true. Well, the second tier is about to happen. There is no second tier. The shake, but the shake was about to happen, so, so we don't know yet. So I feel like they should put the um, Titus Worldwide is coming to SmackDown. Obviously, they got eliminated from Raw, so an, an, that's, an, another, that's an, another set of jobbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we said that already a while ago. I mean, they should put Luke Harper and uh, Carl Anderson on SmackDown. I forgot to ask, what happens with Ke- Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Oh, 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 that was amazing. Oh, yeah. that was brilliant. Yeah. No, but I mean, what happens afterwards? Since like they both. Lost and you don't get a so contract. Much with that. Yeah, you could. It, 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 it was, Are they going to be no floating contest. free agents and showing up on both shows? Because yeah. that's what much. I think they would to do. To really extend it, to really extend it, to make it very good, to a very good story. Fuck with Dan O'Brien. They should go on every, um, um, everywhere. They should go two hundred five. Like, come on, let me wrestle, please, please, let me wrestle. And then it'll be Kevin Owens try to cut weight. And after that, be Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn try to cut weight also because they're too big for that Isn't division. That- uh, also a rehash of the give me a job thing. I got, I got kids. Yeah, yeah, but this one will be a different country. It'll be different because you have two different sets of people that, that know how to work with right. yeah. And on top of that, you even go even deeper than that, go to NXT. You know, go to NXT, this, that, and third. You see them going back down? No, just to try to get a job. They don't care at this point. Okay. You know, you, want, you, you want them to look desperate. Yeah, and I fact, they, they even go even deeper than that to get some, uh, more eyes on their um, on their partnership, go to Evolve. See what's up with that. So, you know, either they even want to Evolve, that put more cameras on that, say, oh, shoot, WWE is filling with Evolve. A lot of people don't know that. Let me check what Evolve has. Well, Everybody a lot of competitors eat. that are going to NXT, they're coming from Evolve. And now put more and eyes on Evolve. There's a lot of uh, indie wrestlers that I know personally that was in New Orleans and a bunch of dark matches and pre-matches on NXT, they were there. See, great you have, Aust- you have Austin Run. Theory. Inside info! <laughs> See, that's a great way to get everyone to, everyone to eat. You know, everyone eats. And no, you, you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go with it to, down to you. I wouldn't do the, that. What it, what stop at NXT, part. right? Stop at NXT. Stop at NXT. Okay. Evolve is just way too down low. And it, it just messes up kayfabe. Because there's no real reason for them yeah. to be down there, honestly yeah. speaking. Okay. But, but creative can get creative with this. Have them outside, like... Just fucking picketing change. or some shit, doing something stupid. Like, they should be at Metro PCS trying to sell phones because that's how they're doing for a job. Think about it, these are all their sponsors. They do a lot of, they yeah. They go to Metro, they go to KFC. Cricket, cricket. Oh, yeah, not Metro, cricket, yeah. Cricket, they, yeah. They, they, they can do so Snickers. much. Snickers, you know, they're trying to sell Snickers out. Oh, they could be on a train with the Ooh. Barclays have a summer slam. Like, Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not here trying to sell to try to sell um stickers for a basketball team. I'm trying to sell stickers to get to get keep my kids and my lights on. My name is Kevin Owens. My name is Sammy Zane. You know what? Showtime! <laughs> Sammy Sammy Zane like does fucking cartwheels. <laughs> Kevin Owens does a backspin and shit. <laughs> Yo, that would be a great storyline. Yeah. Still creative call at us. Call at us. Call at us. Anybody say anything, Leo? Yeah. Um, what do you want exactly to know? <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> We need exactly to know. I mean, Leah, just anything. All right. Um, people said. Oh God. Um, I, I'll end up on. Um, no, they'll end up on Raw because Kurt liked the match for Monday. KK wise, well, obviously, Miz versus Daniels and versus Mini match. That's so, gonna so, happen. Raw versus the Ball for the title. Kula said they go. Um, f- they're coming from All Witch Two. And um, Black Western Legend says that's not even his knowledge. Oh, okay. Um, he also said Evolve Progress and WWN are low key development for WWE right now. Right now, that's every that's that's no, not even right, right now. Right that's now. been ongoing for, for years, 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 yeah. years. 
years. Like WWN, literally, like there's a team from New York, from FTW, from every indie out here that went down to New Orleans, worked those shows, put in the work. Either they wrestled, their ring crew, their production, it doesn't matter. They were there. Their faces were seen. Their names were heard. That's that's basically what it is. And they had like a um a match with one of those champions. I think um. One of these big dudes, like he fought and he defended his title against somebody for the next. I can't remember who. Can't remember. Listen, Black Wrestling Alliance. Thank you for the info. We appreciate that. Um, how many big dudes you give me SmackDown? Wait, wait, wait! You fucking wait, wait, not even. Come on. Yeah, what son. about Carmella? Thank exactly. You. Carmella. Or like AJ Styles versus my son DB Boy. Exactly. Boy that was a good. That was a good. That was a good match. match. That, was that was a good match. That was a good match. You I like forget, that match better than the wrestling. Like you forget. How short AJ is, and when you go against someone who's about his height, how the, the it goes an extra next gear, you're like, dang, that was a good match. That was a very good match. That was very was solid. Really but how many big dicks you give me? Wait, Carmella, how you feel about that? How cash it? But how many big dicks you give me? She finally cashed it in. She's gonna. She gonna she gonna got to ignore me. It was about fucking time. Yeah, yeah, just, just we're ignore still me. talking about it. Yeah, after after we break finish. This down. All right, yeah. tell me how many big dicks you did, then break it down. Break it down. Give it another three. Yeah, three point five. Three point five. Three point five. So, Carmella Cashin and that Carmella Cashin was was fire. It was. Yeah, that shit was, was fire. The one thing that annoyed the fuck out of me was the like, rap. Yeah, it's like. Motherfucker, you know this is a thing. Just no, cast the shit in. You want? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? You know, come on, she hurt. Yo, boy. Asked her like ten fucking times in like thirty seconds. Yeah, she had to ask. But yeah. then again, I like the fact that how it was the build. Um, like I like the build up after how the fact that she got up all groggy like this. Yeah. I put her dukes up. Great. Charlotte knows how. Great story. Yeah, Not forget Naomi versus Natalia. Time they go against each other, really it's amazing. Match. Yeah, it's, you might even, when you are wrestling your friend, you are always yeah, going fun. to yeah. have a great match. Exactly, you know, it's like going and chicken. Let's go together. No, no, no. Uh, nah. Why is a brand, right? Yeah, it's a brand. You could have said beans and chicken or whatever. Beans or rice and chicken. chicken. <sighs> <sighs> you could have even throw platanos in there, but uh, you didn't. You fucked up. You sound like an ignorant white person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct, correction. Colonizer. 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 Sound like a real colonizer. Yeah. Um, Carmelo Cashin was great. I'm a little annoyed that Randy won. Uh, I'm super annoyed yeah. he won. I Luce, love Randy. Who should have won that shit? Oh, y'all do forget that Nakamura promo in the back. Oh, that Nakamura. was classic. Why you did that for? I don't speak English. Yeah, at the end he was like, <laughs> no I mean, English. like he always sound like, hey, he, he tried to sleep with somebody, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was funny because like when she asked him, he was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, I was in the emotions," and he winked mad hard. She was just like, "You're being disingenuous." So that's why he was like, "Sorry, no English." And I, I feel like, that works for him because that makes him good to heal. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's yeah. actually doing a great job. I think he he's better. He's better. It's at only it was only what day three as a heel. That's but then, but it, was good then it worked so like, far. Can we enjoy this? Yeah, yeah, but like, still. Because the thing is, they you have, can't just say he's great after three days. But the thing he's is, not great. They he's, haven't been doing much with yeah, him besides that. So to see them hill. doing something with him, even if it's just three days in, just that little segment, whether it was a minute or five minutes long, just that tidbit is enough to make it great because of the fact that he, he really didn't do shit. Yeah, yeah. it's where You can tell that it shit a little bit because my son gave him a low bro like a thousand one times. Yeah. You can tell that he is a better as a, like not a white hot baby face. But like a gray hot baby face. The thing was, they never he anti-hero. They never made him a white hot baby face to begin with. They like tried to. They, no, they didn't. didn't. Work it. You couldn't work at it. You're right. I think that they didn't. They didn't try to be quite honest. Well, the thing is, you can't make him a baby face if you can't speak English. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar has a streak, and she has, well, and she, she has had. like, and after I feel like she worked. Okay, but why was he so such a beast and so loved in NXT? Cause you don't have to talk that much energy. You don't. You don't, no. but still. And then you yeah, have fucking the, the illest fucking intro ever. Yeah. It is. It's Pair him with somebody that could talk and that's it. Have an advocate or no, something. Nah, he has somebody that walks out with a body and that shit's happening. I feel like him <laughs> as this, I see why people like him in New Japan. Cause New Japan, like he was like that. He had like a He's swag. He's a strong style. Yeah, he, and he also is charismatic through his movement. And it's also at, Japan is about the in-ring ability. You're right. It's always been about the angling about it. Like, so sure. I'm, I don't really give a fuck if you can talk on the mic. Yeah. Who's you can put on a fucking show? But I think that this him being in here will expand, like, will like, exp- like expand his character. And it'll give him more time yeah. to get used and to And you never know. He might throw punches as a heel. 
show you. Are they talking? Yeah, Kravitz said he's been healed in New Japan. Yeah, he has. And he could pull it off. Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Thank you, Kravitz. Anything else? Yeah. Rusev should have won. Yeah. And she cashed in and capitated. Incapacitated. 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 Yeah, we're going on. <laughs> okay, so everybody gives uh, SmackDown Dr. three and a half. Mixed MJ style. What? Throw that shit out. Freddie Mercury makes Michael Jackson style. His, his suit they came in the ring with. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we know that how he got inspiration from um, Freddie and Michael. That's kind of old news. Who said that? Is that, is that a bottle opener? Zach yeah. 985. Amazing. Yeah, it's okay. kind of old news. I want it. That's the Beyond <laughs> single. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move on. So everyone gave SmackDown three point five. Yeah, yeah. Who, who was it? Who? Okay. So I was to say no. Uh, <laughs> dream matches Ooh. that never happened. I've been thinking about this all day, go so ahead, I want to go last. No, go I want to go last. My, I've been first, thinking about all day. I go first. My boy Crazy put me onto this match. He gave me a great idea. I'm gonna add my sauce to it. So he said this. It's like a long build, up, right? Sting comes to WWE. Sting, I'm gonna take a, a going at it. This that a third. You know, you know, um, the Ministry, the Darkness, whatever, and the guy who perfects the the shadows. Sting. Of course, go on this, that, a third. They have a triple threat match. You know, Bray comes in, father story, Bray comes in. He said that, I am the new face of fear. I am the face of the darkness. While Sting got the crow, this guy is a symbol of just taking over the WWE as death. So he has the vulture, fatal on um, a um, um, triple threat match. Sting, Undertaker, Bray. Bray wins, and he's just, Yes, over as that to defeat two iconic icons in the business. And he really has the world, whole world in his hands. The worlds of darkness, the worlds of the shadows. Bray is in his hand. He cut that promo, but instead of cutting it after elimination, he cut it after WrestleMania on that sm- on that raw. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that you know, was kind of cool. Came up with that. I just had my sauce to the the the, 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 the Goya. <laughs> So, mine is um, Razor Ramon with CM Punk. Ooh. So, a, 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 a drug lord and a straight, a, a straight edge? What storyline? There's no storyline. Come on, uh, man. You've been slacking your storylines, B. It's a good match. I'm going to put on storyline. So, this is what happened, you know? No, no, no. No, no. no, no don't do that. It. Leave it, leave it, it. Leave, leave it how it is. Your, your dream match? Eddie Guerrero, Daniel Bryan. I like that. Solid, yeah. solid, solid. solid. So, like I said, I've been thinking about mine all day. And Nia Jax. Sexy. Versus me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the storyline? Oh, I don't know. Who Wilkins would choose? His sister or his booski? I'm going to choose Nia. Oh, shit. That hurts. That hurts. That I got when she said Nia Jax. I was like, who? And me. No, no, no. No, no, no. I honestly, uh, Nia Jax and uh, Lita. That would be a good match. That would be good. Yeah. That would be a good match. All right. Um, the Zavis, Zave, Zave985 said Stalin versus Joe in WWE pay per view. That really happened. It's a dream match. I said WWE pay per view. Yeah. Um, Matt Awesome said Owen Hart versus Seth Rollins in IC Championship. And. Black Black Lion said Finn versus Styles. So that's gonna happen eventually. Finn versus Styles? That happened already. Yeah. That happened in New Japan too. Yeah. That happened on pay per view. Yeah. Like everybody TLC. Which one was yeah, that? yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Was he, TLC? he flew up from fucking yeah. from thingy. Oh, and I hate Ish said Team Extreme versus Usos and Naomi in a ladder match. Mm. That would that would work. That would work. Okay. All right, guys, we got the interactive part with the jobber. The Jabba Squad. Who's reading it? So interactive. Beth Phoenix has completed at WrestleMania more than competed at at WrestleMania more than any female. True or false? True or false? Beth Phoenix has completed at WrestleMania more than any female superstar. I'm going with true. I'm going with false. Mm. I'm going false. I'll go with false. 
I'm going with true. It's I think true. true. I go with true. What did they say? Lala's world said false. Um, Zay Ish Isaiah Isaiah said false. Black Black Investment Alliance said false. My Awesome said false. Zay nine eighty five said true. And Black Black Investment Alliance said Natalia and Matt Awesome said. Trust. I think, yeah, I think Natalia has Trish. more. Yeah, I think it's more. So what's the Natalia answer? or Trish has more? Yeah, we should put the answer on here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we have, we have these guys. <laughs> All right. Next question. Next question. The WWE Championship has changed hands 20 times at WrestleMania. True or false? Mm. I'm saying false. I'm saying no, false. 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 Hmm. I said false. Yeah. Anybody? No, no answer. Black Lion said no answer. Trish was like four. I was like four. True. Man, also said true. Mm hmm. For what? Um, Zane, 985 said false, Lala's La words said true. Okay. Run DMC was the first music group to perform at WrestleMania. No, that's false. That's, that's false. false. Yeah. All right, that's false. Is what everybody said. Not yet. Wasn't it um, this dude, um, the guitarist is playing, Alice Cooper? Wasn't it Alice Cooper at WrestleMania 3? I don't remember. I could have sworn it was. Mm, I don't know about this one. Macho Man Randy Savage holds a record. False. I, I am Go Dog. I am Go Dog. WB1 said false. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we say false. Too. Okay. Macho Man Randy Savage holds a record for, for competing the most matches in one night. That I don't know. That is true. Good to know. So we'll find out the answer soon. That Phoenix is correct. That Phoenix oh, is correct. Oh, that's right. Okay. Told you. Natalia only has two. That Phoenix has uh, three. Wow. I knew really it was something low, like low, low, low. I thought I'd been yeah, trying. So like, but then again, I forget that she didn't compete in a lot of WrestleMania. She's she always it. there. Yeah, she yeah, was she there. Was she there. didn't she compete. Yeah. 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 Yes. So final segment. What does WrestleMania mean to you? What means the world to you? Diamond thing, shining thing. Um, WrestleMania to me means the Super Bowl of wrestling. Yeah. It is a Super Bowl. It means the wrap up. It means the end. Of, it means the end of a major chapter. It means the end of the storyline. Yeah, it means the end of chapter I thirty-four mean, has ended. Uh, you can keep going with certain storylines. Obviously, they're gonna keep so certain, certain you know, storylines going. But, it, but I agree with you. For the most part, it's that's it's the end Wrestle of the season. WrestleMania is like look at it as a calendar year, right? So basically, it's like a wrestle, physical year. Yeah, almost. it's like a yeah. physical year. So it's like that physical year is ended, and then anything after that is starting, Reset, is yeah. resetting, mm -hmm. is starting new. So I see it as, you know, more opportunities. Um, it's setting the bar higher to keep, you know, the universe intact and tuned to what's going on, tuning into Raw. Uh, getting the you know signing up for the network actually utilizing the network and not just paying for it and not watching it but drawing viewers I in. I don't pay for it. He pays for it. I use his. Thanks. My sister uses mine. I have like four you friends that Google use too. mine. <laughs> huh? I don't use your Hulu. I don't really use Hulu. I've been the man at the house. You see, he got money. He always got money, you know. My friend's girlfriend got a lot of money, you know. A lot of money. A lot of money. What are you talking about? We're broke. Yeah, I have cable. I can't afford cable. <laughs> I struck my name. You, you have Wi Fi. No. <laughs> that's just as good. That's just, just as good. <laughs> <laughs> that's just as good. What are you talking about? Yeah, that pretty much is cable yeah. nowadays. How much people have Wi Fi? Huh? Because it's free. Now. How do they have phones though? Yeah, how do they? Because get government, um, because government giving it out like because of the Obama phone, they're giving out for free. Like if you have Medicaid and um, food stamps, either one. one. How do you have Medicaid and food stamps if, if you don't homeless. have anywhere to live? You can't really. How do you? How do you? Why do y'all that? How you do that? I mean, like, I mean, because I mean, this is off like, the subject. Like, 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 <laughs> I, mean, I mean, personally. All right, yeah. final segment. Final segment. Um. You just made the list. Who made the list for you? Who made the list for me? Yeah, who made Wilkins. The list for me? Who made the list for you? In a bad way or a good way? A bad way. Like In a bad Jericho way? way? Yeah. Yeah. Like Jericho. Uh, you, you, you're the guest. Who made the list for you? Uh, Roman Reigns for not winning it at WrestleMania. Really? Yeah. Kind of. 
because he probably should have, or Vince technically for not pulling the trigger and letting him actually fucking win the shit when he should have. I ain't got a problem. When I saw Roman Rain match and Brock leaked him and his face was crimson yeah. red. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, he's about to go Hogan out and hoped out. Yeah, and then when he then lost, he I was like, it. he had the bloody face. That would have been a great. Yeah, been great it would have been a way way to, it would have been a great way to do it. Like he got up super charged. I do the two spears and everything. I was like, okay, this works for me. And yeah. then when and he, he did the F five, yeah. I was just like, yeah. everybody just looked at each other like, wait, what? Yeah, but that was a great, great visual. Him yeah. with the with the bloody face, the fidelity, like the fed- confetti. Let's just see that. Is all? Yeah. Just to see that visual of him bleeding with the title up. That was a great, 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 great visual. But. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like, the, do w- the WWE has been steering away from the whole blood. On. Right. Because They've been clear for years. Yeah, for because, years. Because like, they were in the, um, because they didn't know all they was really strict with the rules. Though, they too. were super strict. Because apparently, like, even a Ring of Honor, Bully Ray made a, um, made a comment saying that, like, there was something that happened and he had cheeseburger like about to pop. He was like, I will power drive the shit out of him and stop this show right now. Like, cause you know that Louisiana doesn't want us to do this. Like you can't, apparently the power driver was outlawed. Like you couldn't do certain moves and that was one of them. So like they had certain regulations and blood was probably one of them. And that's probably what happened. So what between. if, hear me out. What if Vince said something to Brock about making Roman bleed. Mm. And that is how the whole altercation started. Highly possible. It's highly possible, and then Brock being- Cause the whole thing with Randy Orton that happened two years ago when he made him bleed, and Chris Jericho thought it was a fucking, it, it was real, and so, Chris Jericho got You're right, but my face. thing is this. Does he really make people bleed, or is it like a blood pack? No, he cut him. Like, he, no, he, you see the cut. He, the thing it, about he started it, bleeding immediately. What the problem is, Brock is lazy now. Brock is really lazy in the ring, and he has Jordan rules now. And what I mean by Jordan rules is For that- the game. He, no, is that he gets away with everything because he's a star player. And he's their highest paid wrestler, and he do what the fuck you wanna do. He gets away with shit. It's wrong. It's wrong, but it is what it is. But then again, it was and, the same way with with Randy when he got busted for um, I think pot or something like that, it made no big deal about it. No, he, he got suspended. Yeah, he did get suspended. Yeah, he, he actually got legit suspended, and he just fucking stopped. But the pot shit was because he was self medicating himself, and WWE doesn't do the best with that. With what I've heard, but Brock is sloppy in the fucking ring. He's terrible. I don't give a fuck. He's terrible. He's not as good. Like, I, I feel like, again, the only time I feel like I got excited for this match was him versus AJ. Because AJ put him over. That's why. Yeah. They did put him Brock over. Was, Brock was a fuck. Yo, AJ could literally wrestle a blow-up doll and make it look fucking amazing. I mean, Kenny Omega blew up. Same wrestle. thing. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and that's the problem with Brock, and I think that the fans are catching up to the point where, like, yo, this we're is tired boring. Of we're shit. done. It's tired of it. It's annoying. Like, the first couple are like, oh, shit, F5. Suplex, this is awesome. Now it's like, yo, bro. Suplex Another City one. is old. This is it's old. That's all you do. So, yeah, like yeah. I remember, um, I remember my old school Brock. When I thought that when you fought AJ, you bring back lines old school, like the Brock lot. I was going to pick him up like this. Imagine that visual. Him just like, oh, and AJ Styles just freaking out. Something got out of it. Visual, tell a story in the ring, but like everyone's saying, he's lazy. He's like lazy. He's, he's not excited no more. And I feel that like John Cena has five moves, but at least he has five moves. Brock Lesnar has like two. Well, you have to understand, you know, John Cena has five moves, but and, he knows how to, and he knows how to spread it yeah, out. Yeah, he does. And he put. I realized this is like this is why I respect him. I didn't like Johnson before. I thought that he was too much. I felt that I respected him with the U.S. Open and how he sprinkled new moves into well, the game. The thing is, Johnson had to. Yeah, yeah. Johnson said, mentioned on a podcast. He's like, "Yo, all you guys wrestle better than me now. Like, really know how to wrestle. So you, so any great player will elevate their game to 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 um." Adapt. So it's kind of like when, um, hmm, correct me if I'm wrong, let's do a, a basketball um, reference. Kind of like when um, um, Michael Jordan was kept getting beaten by the Pistons. And no, it's, the, Michael, the, Michael, Michael, no, no, that doesn't count. Because Michael Jordan getting beaten by the Pistons. Oh, no, 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 no,
Kobe was on top of this game, he still had weapons to his repertoire. He earned like little post moves, back to the basket, little passes. It's not, it's not, it's not that. It's just the fact that it's a new age. And I feel like kind of John Cena is never is always on a quest to get better. The fact that he got better. He had to get better. He, he had, had no choice. He had no choice. That's None the whatsoever. thing. It was either get better or, or get we're gonna left, move on behind. left behind. That's it. And even though he's a golden, he's a golden boy, this ain't stupid. He works. That's why I respect him. Yeah, and but Brock is not working. But Brock doesn't have to work. That's the thing. This man makes so much money, and he appears like f- five times a year. Like he doesn't have to do anything. He really doesn't. So. My job of the my way to listen this week goes to Brock because of like the subpar wow. work he's been doing. He, he did this season, and wow. okay, he has yet to put on a show and be part of a match. Okay, so that's your job of the week. What's yours? Oh, you made a list of the week. Oh, you made the list. Yeah. All right, who made your list? Brock made my list too. Dang, okay. I have, I'm I'm tired of seeing him. Right. I'm, I'm a Brock fan. Brock made the list for basically everybody in the chat. Everybody. Dang, Brock. Everybody Brock made the list. Brock made the Brock. list. So, and I'm a Brock fan. Like, I I'm a Brock, Brock fan, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm, it's it's Janelle, more Vince for me than, yeah, than Brock, yeah. but like, Dang, it's, that's a it's, case. Yeah, if, yeah, if it's not Vince, it's Brock. Well, I'll take the Roman away because he should have been put over a while ago. My list is story time with Mr. Black. So I'm going to train. I'm going to train come over here. This, that. You know those guys who had those random items like a tissue and a piece of paper that says, oh, I'm blind. Blah, blah, blah. If you're blind, why you give out that stuff? Not an idiot. I'm deaf. This, that, and third. It varies like I need money for my kids mm-hmm. and I'm deaf, whatever. So I'm reading it, whatever. And then this guy stands back, look at everybody, and he'll pass by everybody. You don't give him money. He grills you like, Psh. I'm like, are you serious? Every person he grills, I'm looking at him like, yo, boy, the post office is hiring. We got plenty of deaf people who can't hear. Come to the post office, son. Like, you keep him. that? I can't tell him because he can't hear. Why well, he didn't write <laughs> it on the phone and show him? I would have wrote it on the card. And you belong on the list. <laughs> oh, for not helping. For not helping. You fucked up. You, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Damn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that I, guy made the list or who? We both made a list. Okay. Because I made a list for not telling him. I should be more informed by writing down. And he made a list for getting angry because people don't want to give you free money. So we both made a list. You should have you know? suplexed him. Yeah, that'd be mad aggressive though. You know, a big, like a, like a big black guy being on the guy. Like kind of like yes, yes size. You know, you could have still done it. I can't beat up like a fellow. You know, I can't, man. I can't. Mm. It was a colonizer, maybe. You know, I feel good because they be gentrified Brooklyn all over the place. Like once you see a Starbucks, you know it's a wrap. Yeah, it's happening in the Bronx too, bro. You look at it. Yeah, dang, well, one, Starbucks, bro. man. Well, I'm Florida. Yeah, it sucks yeah. how how like um is taking over though. I don't like Starbucks. Too expensive. Yeah, it's trash coffee sometimes. Well, um, and he's just saying this casual, it's four dollars. Four dollars. Oh, Hi guys. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, literally. it's literally also like a metro card in the way. Okay. Metro card's not 350. 275. Three, three quarters two, away. Two quarters away. Three quarters and two quarters and one quarter makes a difference. All right, we we one quarter, quarter away from all going dollars. home. So <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us tonight. We do have a special announcement. The Jabba Tears will be sponsoring Battle, uh, Battle Club Pro for their May 26th show called May the Queen Reign. It's an all-female wrestling show. It's in Ridgefield, New Jersey. Um, go to battleclubpro.com to get more information and tickets. Um, and thanks. Uh, anyone want your plug? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um First about Battle Club. Battle Club is actually pretty cool. Me and Cooler actually went to a Battle Club show. Um, Are you coming to um, It's in Jersey. We'll pro- definitely try to make it for sure. We were actually thinking about it on our way back. We saw flyers on, yeah, on Instagram and shit. Sure. So yeah, I mean, we could probably definitely show up for that um, for sure. Um, also, if you guys want to listen, I pokes in the head chokes on SoundCloud, iTunes, um, Google Play, and Stitcher. Um, we usually record on Thursdays. The episodes is up are up by like Thursday nights. Um, if you want to hit us up on Instagram, we're on Instagram as well uh, as Poke Chokes. Twitter at on Twitter at um, Pokes and Chokes. And um, yeah, thanks for having me on. Got a plus? Uh, April twentieth, Creator Die in the Bronx. 
at Zorro's Extreme Fitness. Bell time is at 9. Uh, it's at 1123 Closed Ave in the Bronx. It's by the Six Line. Uh, check out uh, my Instagram, Silver Queen Ivy, for more details. Um, before we, I guess before you sign, I'd like to thank everybody who checked up on me after watching last week's episode, who made sure I was okay. I'm doing way better. My depression is doing okay. Thanks for everybody. Y'all can run MVP. Thank you for checking up on me. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody who's there at Legends who chill out with us. Lala, um, Joe, all of y'all. Y'all some great people. Thank you. And yo, this is why we love y'all, man. Y'all the best friends we ever had, man. We have some new shows coming out soon um, on the, the YouTube page. Please check it out. We have a lot of new new, new products gonna start coming out. Merch. Um, big dick status t-shirts coming Ooh, soon yoga flames yoga t-shirts, flames. t-shirts coming soon but we we're working thank you for the support and the love hit us up on Facebook like us on Facebook subscribe us on our, on our YouTube page hit up on our Instagram all job of Twitter, Twitter, all, Twitter the, all that shit follow us individually come on all right. Just Google. You'll Google. find you'll find Thank you so much. and us. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you for tuning in. You guys are the best. Like literally as you guys are doing the last bit of pause. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah. They got the majority of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. May 26th, come out. Also for her show as well. Check out the 420, iPhones. the Bronx. Eye pokes and head chokes. So Remember, eye pokes and head chokes. Exactly, we also got yo. shit on Redbubble as well. So exactly. You let know, us y'all know. Can come there to the show. Smack, because it's 420. Smack. Go in there, enjoy some wrestling. Smack. That's it. Smack City, baby. All right.